Guys, second semi-final. Second semi-final. And we have very strong players. And now, are they very strong as a team? Ooh, obviously they are. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very nice one. Vals team versus Vilese team. Let me just put Vilese and Vals. Those are the captains. And let's see the flanks mostly first. We have Gray, Ondrek, Mayans sending to Vilese and the Eagle already. To go and fight against Vilese. He's going to try to go so greedy or he will go for middle ground. I think he will go here to wall and then as fast as you can to this area. Then on the right... Oh, man. Pulse is gonna send the scout, but in a map like this, you are not gonna send Velis. He's playing against Dragon Star. Uh, let's see how Dragon Star is gonna play. By the way, can you tell me, guys, what time is it in India? And Velese already with the problems. Ah. He's with the Eagle, and he's creating chaos to Velese. Is this good or not? Eh? I'm not so sure. He might lose a villain now, Gray, for being greedy. I mean, the question here is, why he didn't try to get the wall like this? It was a bad wall. Now this is a villain down for Gray. Orange is gonna lose the scout. And Bilesi might lose a villain too. Or maybe not. Oh boy. Kill the scout. Seriously? Yeah, it's time to kill a villain, man. Oh man, Vilesi is gonna lose a villain now. So Gray... He's doing a good job at the end. Because Velese, in these kind of situations, cuckoo. You know what mean cuckoo? Cuckoo. Unbelievable. Two Velese down for Velese, now sending another two. And he was right. Look at the walls he's getting. Gray outplayed Velese big time. Big time. You know? Big time. Anyway. Yes. He's playing. Andre, he's playing. A brutal tournament. Why he was that greedy then? Because it's true that the eagle, it really dominate, you know? And now, it's gonna wall here, probably. He sold, and he has a huge map control already. Teal has two lakes. Question is, he will make, he will get one, and probably Gray will take the other. I believe so. Idle TC, Vilese, 25 seconds. Ondrek, 27. So, they are pretty much the same. Here, we are now. Ooh, Vilese, amigo. Ay, ay, ay. Well, this is very bad. Look, Vilese will have food now to make Vilese here. No, he doesn't. A top 10 player in the world, for many people, sometimes even top 5, is in a big problem right now. Yeah, two Vilese behind and his opponent. And this is wall, and he got very nice map control. Now, he's gonna just take a wall here, and we'll take three boards and the relic. What is Bals doing now? With a villain without the loom, he's gonna outplay red as well. And he will wall this area, and probably then will take a wall here. Oh, wow. And I'm gonna tell you something. I believe that Bals will go up quick. Like, oh, no, no, no. Just take the ships, take the berries. He's gonna take the deer there. Okay. Well, he's not too far from the mill. And now he's gonna wall just to be safe. This is very good for Bal's team. Really good. Yellow is walling here, Nick. Korea, not the best civilization for me. I think it's a very slow sif as a pocket. You know, Orange is coming here. Gray will wall. Oh, Gray got also idle TC. 44 seconds, so the same than, than the lesson. Yeah, it's okay. But here, ouch. Both pockets. Look at Ross with the slabs. And deal with Franks taking the fish. And blue? Uh, I'm not sure about this. Well, red did the mill. Is not taking the, the lake. Not for now. And he's gonna wall here. His ball is gonna go up 20, 21. I think he will. 21 population or 22. He's gonna mine gold. And after this one, he's gonna go up probably. We'll do the loom. 
Yeah, he has the loom already. And red is on the way to Feudalage. 22 population. Did he make the loom? He did the loom. Why he's ahead? Ah, no, because he's doing 23. No! What? Why blue is still doing... Mm, it's gonna break here. Like... Clearly, probably. I mean, he should go forward, right? And take these walls down. I don't know. We will see. Balz knows. He got the experience. He's the team captain. He's doing the barrack, the Obama. Now blue is up 24 population. Ah, he's not... He's not too far, but... It's 50 seconds. And now... He's gonna make double palisade or what? Yeah, this is not gonna be easy to defend. Is he starting to make a house? Gonna send another villager probably. And we will see. Why he's walling here? What the hell? Well, they, they give a lot of map control. V what? Vilesse walls, man. Well, he's gonna lose this villager. The, the snow leopard is there. The problem here for Grey is that Grey usually loves to... Oh, three boars more. He usually loves to go for fast imp. With this kind of map, he can't. He's not having extra resources, not getting extra lake. Or or a lake. And what is he doing now, Andrek? He want to go up? 498 foot. Come on, man. Idle time there. Yeah, one minute, six seconds. He lost a billiard there. That was a sloppy. And now he's not bringing the three boars. Damn. He's not walling, but this is, as I told you, is a surprising sloppy play by Barls. Like, I expected him to go up quicker, because now this is so easy to break in. Like, yeah. He's gonna make the market. Oh. Oh, no loom. There's more jowers here. And now he's gonna wall. So he still want to go fast castle. Crazy. Yeah, and he will go fast castle. But Dragonstar is doing something that I love it. He has three villages on stone with a mining camp. Yeah, and three on gold. That's amazing. So he's going to make another tower. The question is, he's going to have resources enough to make the tower... And then try to break in with the army. Mm. Stone. Oh boy. Bals is not up yet. Bals don't have the resources to go up. This is a very good tower. Bals need to make a counter tower. He's playing very greedy. We will see what he's going to do. But Bals is using the market to go up to Castle Age. Okay. He has no food. Now he has. No, he does have the food. Oh man, no food to go up. Aye, aye, aye. Just buy the resources. He want to have the stone to make the castle, but no, he's now idling the TC quite a lot. And he's finally doing the tower. We'll do the siege and his wall here with houses. And now he's tricking another three boards in this area. On the other side, as you can see, fully wall. Okay. But this is the question here. It would be worthy if yellow was going siege. The thing is that yellow is going to be up to Castleage only one minute before Bals. So, Bals might do the siege himself and push him back probably. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going crazy. He's trying to chop the tree. Oh. This is an amazing play. An amazing play by Dragonstar. A really good play. Trying to take the tower. Amazing play by Dragonstar. I love it. Because now he's trying to take the goal. But that Valir... Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, very good play here. That he has Fletch in Dragonstar. No. Dragonstar is playing solid for now. But... Man, this is... I hate this shit. How you can kill... Why you can kill it, man? I mean, seriously. Nah, this shouldn't happen. These kind of things shouldn't happen, really. 
These kind of things shouldn't happen, in my opinion. Thanks, DE. Well. Anyway. Three tone center for yellow. Now, TC's as well. Bals defending. And Bals will have soon a castle. And red is not even close to go up. So, I mean, if red is playing good, I like it. How do you stop now a potential castle and siege by Bals? How? Well... It's very simple. You don't. And you can see now Red how he is... He went away right away with the village. Oh my god. Instead of coming and do another tower or something, it's not siege for green. Yeah. All right. Well, a mangonel here might kill him. And then what? Oh, purple is with knights coming from the other side. That's why he's doing already the castle. I'm sure that Bals wanted to make the castle forward. But since he see now the knights, when the knights has come, the villages are gone. And now he has to play defensive. But this is good for the lesser team. Yeah, he's gonna go in with the with the archers. Okay. He's coming out with the knights. This is a very good play. No, it's not. Well, it was a good attempt. Now the knight is coming and gonna take the Magonal. He still kill it. He's trying to block it, but. When the knight has come, he's gonna kill the mango. He's repairing, man. He's repairing. And he repaired that one. Beautiful. He's really nice. But you know, he's getting time here, guys. He's getting time. Stonewalls. But why there, man? You need to go to that area. The knights are coming. Yeah, trying to break there. Okay. He, they hold. But now red has good farming. That he has double with us on horse collar. No horse collar. He has two fishing ships. He still have a lot more, if you ask me. Look at Dragon Star. 400 wood. 300 gold. 300 stone. Make fish, man. Use the wood, man. Seriously. Why he's still doing farms without horse collar when you can make fish? Boom. Well, is what it is. Orange. Velese. Portuguese. With the organ guns. Second tone center. And he's gonna make the castle there. Gray has a better boom than Velese. 30C now, and he's gonna try to break in. Well, we will see. Organ guys are not as strong as before. And this is the Mangonel. He's gonna kill it or not? He's blocking, man. What the hell? Trying to block, and now he's gonna wall more because he's trying to go with the Petars. Petars and Janissars can do a massive damage to Dragon Star. He has two towers, so depending where he's gonna break. It can do more or less damage. He should wall behind this palisades or make a towers. You know, one tower, another tower, four towers would be better than those walls, probably. Anyway, yeah, he's doing another tower, as you can see. But Dragonstar has fletching. Yes, he has. He's still getting fish. No fish, guys. And Dragonstar has 600 wood. Well, Dragonstar is, is starting to panic. And big time, actually. Yeah. I mean, his economy is super unbalanced. He could have a much better echo right now. A much better economy. He should wall this area. Why he's not walling? I don't know. Now he's not defending properly, in my opinion. You know? He's gonna go up. Well, he has the market. He could be up to Castellich a long time ago. Look his economy, guys. Look his economy. He didn't wall anything, and now he's dying, man. This is incredible. He died also every game in BF, man. Oh my god. How he's not walling this area or make a tower with the resources he has. Crazy. Crazy. And now the Janissars are gonna make damage here. Yeah, he's gonna take the list to the woodland or gonna go back. All right. But they lost all the map control advantage. Seriously. And guys, green has right now... <sighs> A very sick boom. 83 villages, guys. It's true that yellow nick with Korea and these fish traps. Oh, baby. Very strong. So, Nick is coming with towers. I love it, man. Nick is an amazing player in BF doing towers. And you might say, well, what these towers are doing? A lot. It's Korea towers. Korea towers do a lot here. Defend absolutely everything. And with Fletching and then soon Botkin Arrow, they take everything as well. I will do if I was a Nick, even Ballistic if it's needed. Absolutely. His boom is insane. Green is about to go up to Imperial Age. 
because it's Slav's echo? Holy moly. And also fish. Well, not a lot, but, you know, with this kind of approach, it helps, man. It really helps. All right. He did a tower. But the problem is that Red could be in a much better position. Which now is going to be difficult. This is four mangonels. He's four mangonels. He's going to take the mangonel. He just killed the village with the village. Ooh. No, man. No. No. Drago star. One minute of silence, guys, for the dead bodies. My goodness, man. Really, my goodness. He is still with two town centers only, but Vals has done already a massive damage to his opponent. He's nine villages behind. He has 15 fishing ships, 15 idols. And guys, Dragosa has two fishing ships when he got like a thousand wood. He's doing now another town center, but yeah, well, nice town center in this area. And we will see. Yellow has a crazy boom. A really crazy boom. This army here for Velese. Well, he's a little bit behind from uh, uh, from Gray, but it's okay. He's gonna go up to Imperial. Well, Gray is far behind. Deal Imperial is 121 Velese. Purple 94. It's also true that Dovenka did some knights, so he delayed a little bit his economy. And this fish boom is the crazy part. The crazy part here. Why? Because Yellow is using it. But guys. Do you think Red uses his leg here? Absolutely not. He didn't. Blue now is doing a castle here that in theory should be great. But if yellow play properly here and purple comes, okay, teal is also coming this area. I like it. But guys, Andorin economy, please check Andorin economy with Franks. Andorin economy and then Ovenka economy. What the hell? Andorin Echo is going to have Paladins. When the other player is going to be probably doing maybe Cavaliers. Remember my words. Teal is doing already Cavalier plus four. Yes. While Purple is on the way to Imperial. Yeah. Yellow is there with 140 bullets. But Korea is going to go. Trebuchet. These towers are crazy. They are very good because those towers get... Well, they are keep towers doing the upgrades. How about deers? And now Orange. It's doing what? It's walling all the map. Velese, this is what the team captain is doing on his team. Which is the right thing to do right now. But it's going to be a note. <laughs> well, we're going to discover, guys. We're going to discover because we're going to have yellow with the halberdiers. Slavs with the halberdiers as well. And if he's doing Druzinha, much better. He's now cutting. Cutting the map. Obviously, he's doing towers, so he's gonna be fine. Red is still moving and trying to reboom. Purple castle in the middle of the map in that area is coming with the knights. And as I told you, Teal, Paladin upgrade, Ovenka, Cavaliers. Exactly what I told you was going to happen. Frank will have a big advantage here. And you can see how a, a, a simple situation, you know, for... Dragon Star made him lose all the map control, and that shouldn't happen because he got purple with some knights, and now he's gonna make more towers. Not gonna be easy to stop this. Not gonna be easy to stop this if he's not doing towers here. Oh boy, Green is doing champions. Ah, okay. You know what I will do here? Seems you don't see a lot knights. I will delete the walls and send this army and kill the onagers. Yeah, look. Well, it's true that they don't see anything, but when you have the tower, just do that. Purple Paladin upgrade. Love it. Yeah, well, he is there with the Cavaliers. He doesn't have to delete anything. He can just do the job and use the Cavaliers. This is nice. Hands are hands. You know, hands are hands. They recover quite quick and 20% faster the stable for the hands. Remember that with Franks you need the chivalry, you know? Now Trebuchet here and Red is walling but they have lost a lot of map. Basically one corner. And now here, 
Okay, Gray is still defending. No army at all. Few Petters too. And now Gray with some problems against Velese. Velese seems to 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 make Gray feel the the, 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 the scare. Oh my God! That Donner shot by Yellow kill all the owners by Green. Okay, and now Yellow, who is an excellent, no, an amazing player, has the top score in the game, coming with so many halves, and they took everything. Yeah, as you can see here now, Mister Nick with so many halves coming with the trebuchet, but careful with those paladins. You don't want to let this alive. He should make a gate, man, and take those trebuchet. But still, he's not doing. Now, mm, the tails matters a lot. Look at the Dionysus here. Oh, baby. He should send the army and try to help with these situations. Army numbers, almost the same. And here, he's gonna break it. He got Halvard Diaz, some organ guns. The organ guns are kinda trash. And what is he going to do to this area? It's open. There's a nice castle here. All right, the trade is very important. That's why they need this part of the map, honestly. It's gonna take the goal. And why they don't clean this? They can't clean it, but they are not doing. And now they are kind of stopping in this spot. Oh my God, with the owners. He's siege owners already. Great. El Dorado is gonna go Eagles. So obviously with Eagles, he's gonna dominate to the lesson. He's gonna wall more. All right. This is Palines from TL on this area. And I'm not convinced about this. Well, let's see. Look at look at Vals. 95 villages up to Impedal, but Red has recovered a lot. 98 villages. Obviously, this would be nice if you can clean it. He has to clean. I mean, this is very easy to wall and recover. It's only two traps, but they are not doing now. Purple is coming with the Palines. That's good. But I insist. Trade, very important. Like, really, really important. And he's walling. Velese is still holding the position. Velese shouldn't really have a big problem here. You know, Organ Gun, Halvard is that he has Fightorias? No. He's full bombing, but Fightorias can help if you don't have a lot of trade. Definitely they can. Guys, they can destabilize. Now here, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but Red, Berbers, he's about to go up to Imperial. And what did you gonna do now? Dragon Star, 2,000 fruit, 800 gold. He's on the way to Imperial. What army he's going to do? He need Camel Archers. Those are the beast units. Delete all this and the Halvard is. Then you scoot everything. The problem is, the longer the game goes, if Vals is gonna be there with the, with the Turks bomber towers, mm, my goodness, those siege owners don't have the extra range, 10 range. Let's see now. Oh man, the position. They are out of position now. Let's see the owner shot. Let's see the owner shot. Paladin is trying to be down, but those Paladin is gonna kill the traps. Now he's killing those traps, which is as well. All right, and. Palines and Halves together in this area. Gray with the Elite Eagles El Dorado. Well, Orange, it's Halberdiers. Halberdiers, Velese, guys. Velese is dying big time on this side. He should have gone Halves and Hand Cannoneers, but he got Halves. Guys, Halberdiers, only Halberdiers against Mayans. He was probably afraid about Steel, yes, but seriously. Check Velese army, guys disaster he lost everything man and you don't expect the last to lose like this right well you definitely don't he's doing armor so what is he planning to do the castle is gonna be down you need to wall why a gate just a stone wall man i i i the gates are so bad man anyway he got nothing right now they need to recover the map they can recover here not really and blue is still with no army so what is blue going to do? Cab archers? Uh, I don't see anything. Maybe it's just for towers. Well, it's true that in this area they dominate, but they are going inside with siege rams and halves. And now he's doing bomber towers. What is red doing? Two monks, very nice. He's doing a castle here, eh? Well, it's a good castle to lose. And this castle here, well, he has no halves and hand cannoneers, but how many? Not many. Uh, it's a no to stop this wall. Why he's not walling anything, Velese? Oh, wow. Well, Velese is getting outplayed, guys. I know that now you might say, well, this guy is too true, but he's missing many things. He could have a stone wall completely, and he didn't stone wall anything at all. Very slow reaction. And right now, uh, Velese is dead. And... 
the other side is dead too, or is on the way to die. That castle, as I told you, is a perfect castle to lose. And he's losing. Bomber towers, still balls. Now going to make artillery. Bomber cannons, 14 range. And he's doing bomber towers. Here, he's coming with the siege on his hand health, Nick. But other than Nick, well, Purple has, oh, 61 paladins, man. A lot of paladins, actually. What the hell? Hands are hands, man. And Ovenka is playing amazing. But the problem is, you need trade. Ovenka has 28 trade card, which is great. But for how long? That's the question. For how long is going to have that trade going? And here we are. Where's the trebuchet? Do traps and take the bomber towers. Balz has no army. So military numbers is a little bit different for Balz's team, but not that huge. Problem is that Vilese got crazy outplayed. Honestly, I don't think Vilese in this tournament has been doing a huge difference, you know? Like, the team is very strong. He played good, of course, but he's not dominating, you know? And here, it was pretty obvious when he was pushing that... <laughs> if he push with that army, he's going to get destroyed. And basically, Vilese got destroyed in one attack. One attack, because with three castles he got, he was unable to wall. Which is crazy. He walled all the map here, but then he couldn't wall this area, and now they're dead. In this part, they more or less are holding. You know, it's still not in the great position. But now, how they they gonna hold here? Well, they have to delete the markets. Gonna make the market in this area, all right. But purple, 30 trade card. And, uh, well, he still have resources, but eh, it's completely over right now. Completely, completely over. I think the lesser team did many mistakes in this game. And Bal's team, none. They didn't do mistakes. Maybe it was a little bit greedy in the start, and Bal's could have got this safer for a little bit longer time. But uh, it was a minor detail. It went pushback, and well, you have seen that they are dominated. And Bal's not even doing army. Just bomber cannons and bomber towers. Well, two bo one bomber cannon. So, yeah. He's doing the job, guys. It is doing the job. Okay. He's doing the trebuchet. He's gonna take the tone center. Yeah, you can see how uh, Vilesa is completely dead. Just look where he's doing TCs. Doesn't make any sense to make Tone Centers here. In the middle of all the battle. And they are trying to hold here. Yeah, they have no army, basically. Red got now 24 elite camel archers. But where the, ar the army is here, in this area. You need a lot of traps to kill this. And if Blue is just doing few bomber cannons with 14 range, that's it. Yeah, you can see how... <laughs> Pal has 183 villages, man. It's just going economy, man. 40 trade card. Lot of army. The lesser team is just struggling. They are not calling it, but the game is absolutely over. Or not. It's over or not? I think it's over, man. It's fully over. Yeah. Odete! Oh, dead! How you doing? Under in 44 Paladins now. Purple is starting to draw the Paladins. Will SA is defeated. And uh, we are waiting for the GG call. Red is still okay population. And this is GG call. Bal's team 1-0. It's crazy that that Vilese got killed this way. In my opinion, it's just absolutely crazy that he got killed this way. It's true that in the other side, they were, they were struggling as well, you know? But still, and still, man. Oh, man. Thank you so much for the gift. Statistics. Military balls with nine army high. Nine army high, no army. He did the best KD ratio. Because of the Bombard Towers, guys. Then Andori killed the most units in the game, by far, with the 
crazy amount of balance. He was reading all over the map. And well, Vilese, well, he was dead, guys. He was really, really dead. He had three castles and he couldn't wall crazy. Seriously crazy. Because I don't think that Portuguese, if you make huge amount of hand cannons and health with bomber cannons with, uh, with Arquebus, this would have problems or big problems against the Mayans, honestly. You know? Game two, let's go. Okay, guys, we keep going. And Balls Team versus Vilesi. Thank you so much for the subscription. I don't know if you don't listen. Let me just see. Maybe, maybe it's low. Oh, now you should hear better. It probably was low. Do you hear now better? The music in the background? The beautiful medieval Total War music? What happened? Oh, restart because of the lakes. Because this lake is... This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know? It's really ridiculous. For me, it's ridiculous. They call a restart because the lake is here. You know? All right, we keep going, guys. Game number two. And here we are with Boss and Vilese. Saretza. Saretza, Saretzita. Thank you so much for the gift. Okay, let's see now. Boss facing Dragon Star. And we have Boss Japanese versus Dragon Star. Burmese. It's gonna wall this area. Ah. I will send another villager. Yeah, you, you want to get here. Okay, oh. He's doing the loom now. I mean, it's good to make the loom a little bit slower because then it's better for not having idle TC. Now he can fight. You know, he's waiting green. And in this area, Vilese sending, he's really sending a villager. Okay, he has one in the other side. All right, Vilesa don't, Vilesa don't play good this. He's gonna pick that villager or not? He's sending now another, but this is good for Vilesa. I think he should have delete and go around, but you know, multitasking is needed. Is Vilesa gonna get outplayed again? Oh, baby. Just wall now. Oh my God. Well, if, he, if he's walling here, he's going to be huge, actually. But... No, no, no. Nah. Gray is getting now killed. Gray is getting killed. It's a big problem. He's going to lose both villains and he's going to lose the map control. Gray got dominated. He was greedy. And this time, Gray... La, la, la. La, 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 la. Or he's gonna make some palisade here. He should probably do it. Oh, he can kill both both the scouts. Oh, baby. Yeah, but oh, nah. Yeah, this is disaster for Gray. Total disaster. In this area, they're still going, and in this area, balls. Oof. One, two. Come on, balls, fast. No, he didn't. He failed also. Echo KD, he has killed one villain. Uh, he lost two because probably the other was... Yeah, look at rocks, the pocket. Uh, check red population, guys. Check Dragon Star population. Check Dragon Star population, guys. Not telling anything else, okay? Check idle TC for Dragon Star. And check the villain's numbers for both players. This is what you call his fook. Red is dead. He's fully dead. I mean, Dragonstar has died 90% of the games in this tournament. Six villains behind. It's completely over for him. I'm not telling for the team. But Dragonstar is dead. My goodness. Oh, wow. Well, he's gonna chase those villains, of course. He should come here with his... He should wall here. 
green, but it's not gonna be in time. And he wall it. On this area, Gray is gonna wall this area. Teal will walk here. Andorin is doing, in my opinion, a mistake. He has the loom. He has Mahyars. Send the two Belize and wall here, man. You take the wolves with one hit, man. These walls are very bad. Like, you know, chicken walls. Chicken walls, man. You could get here an amazing walls easily. But well, green will just wall here and they are fine. Purple is coming now. And yeah, he's coming and he's gonna find some wolves. Blue has here the Lambrican. And as, as I told you, I don't know, maybe Orange is gonna try to go aggressive. Totally so. Vilese has Britons and he did double Palisade already here. He's three Vilese ahead to Grey. But guys, six Vilese balls to Red. Six. You know, and now he's still chasing those. What the hell? Oh, seriously? That's so annoying. The damn wolf explain me how he attacked blue first when red was before, right? Just wall here, man. Wall? I can't believe that he's not gonna wall. Ah, oh, come on, wall. All right, that's good. Yeah, well, it's a good wall for balls too. And do you think he should go back? I think he should do a labra camp here. Otherwise, yeah, it's too long. Yeah, very, very long way back. So it's fine. They are walling. And as I told you, Except orange or blue. <clears throat> oh, but blue? What the hell? Two houses here. He's yet losing a belier. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He's gonna notice. I hope he will. But it will be fun to, to see him losing something. Taking three more boars. And as I told you, at least that boss is going aggressive here. Nah, he's not gonna lose anything. Nobody will attack. They play very safe. Well, Grey cannot attack with his position. He's Italian and he has no lake. An orange with Britons. And a lake. He's in a in a total domination position, guys. Really. <coughs> okay. This is the most typical small palisade here, just to, to take the boars. And he's gonna have two extra boars. Go, go, go. Okay, analyzing the civilizations. What is Pals doing? Oh. But, calm. Who is the scout? Okay. Well, he might lose that village then. Pals is rolling all the map. He's obviously in an okay position. But he will have the resources. The berries, the stragglers. Ah, he has his scout. He's fine. And now orange with the mining camp. Okay, I like what Gray is doing. He need to recover this. But if he fail recovering this, then the less destroy. It's true that these palaces are... Yeah, these palaces are very weak. He has to delete another. He's doing the mana tarm. He has to recover the map. And now... He's coming with three villages. Well... He's going to recover this area. Orange. Still 50 seconds to be up. So... No, no, no. No, no, no. He's gonna lose map. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Vilese. He's gonna fail, man. He has a stone also. Oh, my God. Vilese is gonna lose all the map control, it seems. With the tower, he should attack here. He's gonna break it fast. And now, all the map control is gone by him. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Yeah, Vilese is gonna make now a counter tower, maybe? He should do a counter tower, but he's not doing... It's crazy, but Vilese is just 
losing all the advantage he got. Well, not all the advantage because he has a crazy population lead thanks to this. But if he break in... Ooh, oh, oh, what is he doing? Okay. Yeah, well, that's an oath. That's probably an oath to put it back. But now he's going to try to break here. Also, he should go. Delete this palace and, and try to get inside. Well, let's see. Yeah, he's doing that. I think this is good what Gray is doing. Otherwise, he will have a castle forward here, probably. Still, Velese has a huge lead here. A really huge lead. But let's see. Green three tone centers, Sicilians. It's gonna be so fast how he build those tone centers. As we all know. Yellow, three TCs Ethiopians, Nick with the lake. Green has the lake too with double dock. Okay, and blue, what is he planning to do? Because red with Burmese is not yet even up, but he doesn't know, obviously. In this area, let's focus and see. Uh oh. It's gonna break. Oh! Oh! Almost! Nope. Oh, oh, I think it's open. Uh, uh, uh. No. Okay, he wallet. He's doing another tower. And now? He can break it? A second tower in the same spot? Nah. This is a waste now. It's a total waste. But... Oh, this is not in the rage. This tower without... Well, with fletching it will. He has fletching now. Alright, he's still fine. Gray is doing a good job trying to recover the map. In this situation, maybe Peel should come with Siege. I don't know. It's true that it's risky because then you fall behind, really, with and Persians, boom, you know? Nah. But at the end, guys, all this effort is really for nothing. Because now he's even more behind. You know? And... Uh, he needed to recover all this. Without recovering this, it's a real disaster. Because if I was the lesson, I would chop this tree and make a castle here. Tell me what Gray can do then. I'm telling you what he can do. Nothing. Really nothing. But I believe that the lesson is gonna boom. Conservative again. Ooh, okay. Double monastery by Red. And the hombre, vete a tu casa. Seriously, Betea to casa. He really doesn't know to play Black Forest. I'm sorry. Why you need triple monastery? Like, Zareta, seriously. Why you need triple monastery here? It's an overinvestment while Baltic is doing like a fake rush. You know? Oh, for wall? Okay. Makes sense. Redemption, Saturday. I mean, Burmese, cheaper, cheaper average, but now... Pega hambre! Four and uh, yeah. Four monasteries, man! What the hell? I mean, you make two towers and guard tower and... To the damn hell! I mean... When Blue see it, he's gonna think like, ha, I'm so happy. You know? I'm very happy. This is hilarious, man. Seriously. But well. Double monastery is already good enough. You know? But he did four. Alright. And what economy he's gonna have now? Zero economy. One TC. Now siege to our shop. Alright. If I was Pulse, I would do a, a university. Guard tower and total domination. Seriously. Gray on the way to castle it, but what is happening here? What I told you, Orange, Vilese is gonna make a castle here. But he's gonna break he's gonna break in. Time will say. Oh wall. No, he's not walling completely. Okay. And Ondrek now is gonna do what? Well Teal will lose a scout. A la mierda. Alright. And is he doing the the university i mean if you see him coming with maybe a big push maybe he will 
But just look what Red is doing. An outpost. He's he's afraid, man. He's scared. He's really chicken right now. All this is Stonewall, not gra not Teal. That can be a problem. His wall. Gray is gonna be up. And is Gray gonna try to go Imperial 1 TC? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, the walls are massive. Really massive. And now here, Blue, need University. In my opinion, 100%. Is he doing or not? Not doing. He's doing now great economy. But... No, no, no. He need, he need Guard Tower, man. Because if not, then Dragon Star strategy is gonna work. You for real? It's not gonna make Guard Tower. It's Wally more. All right. He maybe think that his economy is gonna suffer a lot with the Guard Tower, but let's see. Orange. Pelese. Booming three TCs. That he has fish. A lot. A lot of fish. The thing here is, Nick, guys, my goodness. I know green is up with a crazy population and fast, but Nick the same. Sick. Really sick. As you can see. 33 fishing ships. And then, not a single farm. He has farmers, but makes sense. Because, well, this is uh, Sicilian's farms. But guys, he didn't make a single upgrade from the mill. No horse collar, no heavy plow. Ten, not that great, you know. Anyway, uh, okay. A red economy is a disaster, as you can see. But he has monks. And if yellow is coming and he has monks, then he's fine. But green will have also the same army than yellow? No, because yellow will have bomber cannons. While green will have siege and house. Bomber cannons with Ethiopians is better. Really, really better. They're gonna tell you something here. Gray is gonna be fine. Well, he's gonna have a castle. He did the stone walls. And now he's up to Imperial with one TC. This is what he's doing many times. Orange will do a second castle forward, which in theory is great, but it's not gonna be great because Gray is gonna go up to Imperial and then the castles are going to go to the damn hell. Oh my god. Teal is up. No, it's almost Imperial with Mahjar. It's gonna be much faster than Purple, you know? But that's normal because of this. 28 fishing ships. 12 moons. I know that Ovenka is Persian. Who is this? One year, man. Obadia. Thank you, man. Amazing. And now we have here the castle. Here, castle with the Lombos. As you can see, Onegers, plus two. He's doing the chain of the armor. The timing is so important. He's now doing a castle. With how many villages? He need more, man. More villages or he's gonna break and go in. Eh, he's gonna be in time, probably. Okay. Yeah, Balti has almost doubled the village than red. Green is here. Onegra upgrade. And Ethiopians is going pikes. But it's the well, it's the same timing. Pretty much. Jello is here too. That's sick. But guys, this great being up to Imperial is very nice. Because I know that now Vilez is gonna be up to Imperial. But if he's able just to take the castles down, then Teal could do the job here. Yeah, this siege workshop is gonna be useless. We'll see, guys. We'll see. I like the position because we see two very similar positions here. On the right, blue, Bals is gonna be super ahead to red. On the left, orange is super ahead to gray. But gray is up to Imperial in 40 seconds. That's gonna help a lot. Deal. Need the Cavaliers, Abret. And this is market that you need to go. Market here. That's gonna be a great trade route, man. That's sick. Really good. Really important. Even more for. A paladin safe. You need a lot of gold with paladins. The castles. Okay. He's gonna cut. He will. But he doesn't need to cut. Teal is paladin upgrade. Yellow helps now. But green cut. And my question is, what is blue going to do? Now. As Japanese and with 94 villages. He's gonna go monks. He's converting here. The pikes. Mangro's coming. And... He's converting pikes. He's not worried about getting converted to pikes. He wants to kill the monks. He wants to kill the mangonels. The monks are going to be down. And now red will have nothing. 
you know, nothing, absolutely nothing. Cavaliers are here. Still, we have here the Cavaliers and the Paladins. He's going now with the traps, and he's going to do monks. Cray. Cray has enough resources to go monks. Not a lot, but he's going to cut. And he has Lombos. Oh, baby. Yeah, but Paladins are there. They are plus four, plus four. They are. And remember for free, yellow is an amazing player. Green too. And green has 200 population. And now, Bals only need to make Jasama Towers. And he get all the map control because red got nothing. With Jasama Towers, he's more than fine. You can see he did First Crusade, bringing the Surgeons. And now I insist, the Dan Jasama Towers can be insane. He's doing the university or not? Yes, he did. Oh, baby. You will see in 15 seconds he will do the upgrades. Jasama Towers for the win. Absolutely. On this area, you can see, trying to take the castles. He has two trebuchets, three, three trebuchets. Remember that Lombos will help, but guys, Teal is going to have a lot of Paladins in a moment. 21 Paladins, 27 Cavaliers, but he has the Paladins already. He has to be careful. The Micro now is going to be so important. The castle is going to be down. This is another castle in front. Grey has no economy. They need to kill here. If they kill here, remember that Green now with First Crusade, they get also extra resistance to conversions. More towers. And now we want to see army from Bows. Because only towers in two games in a row is kind of too much for me. You know? Now he's sending some Paladins. Killing the Onegers. That's awesome. But Grey lost his first castle. And now... We have Vilesa here with War Wolf Trebuchet. He's doing gates. He's coming with the Palace, but there are three players here. They need something else. Cavaliers are here, but then if they are here, they're gonna lose in this one. Gray need to move the list. Teal has Palace, but now Persians, 37 Palace. 23 for Teal. So Purple got more. Aye, aye, aye. Gray is getting destroyed. He should make a gate here and move. Because they are dying here. Bals in this area, they can do the job. Remember that Bals team didn't lose a single game in the tournament. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think they are undefeated till now. But in this one, they have some more problems. Look at the score. It's still here in this area. Red is dying. This is Kondo Thierry's. Kondo Thierry's. They are pushing now with the towers. It's not keep tower with guard tower. I insist. They need to move. They need to make gates here. And Gray move completely. One player will die per team. Gray is already dead. Red is not dead, but he's about to be clean now. And the big problem is, if they clean this city, this town, yellow base, is closed. And that's the Ethiopians one. And that's going to be a problem. Siege honor is okay. But Siege honor from Green as well. Thank you so much. Oh, Monk! Fair lose for Vaz incoming. Well, you are a tier 3 subscriber, and that's all he has one minute. As the mods, as the VIPs, well, your prediction, just kill the lesser team. Because now it's gonna happen the opposite. Alright, let's see now, Teal, with the Paladins. Paladins and Lombos, he's gonna be able to do the job or not? You have to be careful. As you can see, those Jasama Towers dominate. He's walling completely this area and he's holding this position. This is what they need. Get time. You need to get time because when they get into Jello's economy, then everything will change. What is the next step from Pulse? Pulse, I will add Halberdiers as well. Remember, Japanese, some of the best Halberdiers in the game. And if he's coming purple here with Paladins, why not? His population is 140. If you make halves, you will get population. This is what you need right now. In this area, Andorin has Paladins. Good resources. Yes, but his Paladins are Lombos versus Paladins. So they need to kill here quick. Otherwise, big problem. Or send army to the other side. Well, uh, let's see. Gray is trying to reboom. Will try to do what? He has no resources. Zero resources. Nick is struggling, guys. Nick has no army right now. No army. And if they go fast, red and yellow are going to surrender. He has no military. Teal has a lot of paladins now. Coinage. What is this upgrade? Cataparuto. All right. That's nice. But what Bals need is army. He has no army at all. Obviously, you need to pu 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 push fast, break in, and keep raiding. Otherwise, this is going to be difficult to stop. And I'm going to tell you something. Well, Machiars, I think they don't have uh, fortified walls. Don't remember. But 
If they come in here fast, this is brutal army now. Brutal army by Belese and Purple. He will need something else to help. And green is coming. I love it. Bows need army or they will they will die. For now, Bows team is taking the score lead and now they're gonna cut. Ooh, ooh. As you can see, Nick, 172 villages. 172 villages. You know what is this? Too many! Too many villages, man. Yeah, man. Green, the other player with halves and siege, has 130 and 60 army. This is walls. You need to wall more. Because Teal cannot stop this. Paladins, he got a lot of Paladins. You need to make trebuchets, in my opinion. I mean, something else, I don't know. But with the siege, he might hold. Then here, you need to cut and kill fast. He's coming now and taking more army. Incredible game. And guys, two games. And Dragon Star, two times dead. Two times dead. Obviously, the fourth monastery, do you think it was a good strategy? Pretty obvious no, right? I mean, when I saw the fourth monastery, now you understand why I overreact, let's say. Right? Overreaction. But guys, sending the paladins exactly is what you want to do. You send all the paladins there and clean absolutely everything. Look how blue and green are coming. Doing the tower is gonna take absolutely everything. Amazing job here by Bal's team with the trebuchet with another castle forward. He's doing finally the Halvar B is now banking and they're gonna send resources to Grey to Andre. Andre will have soon a lot of economy. And what is the impact Vilesa is having in this game? I'm gonna tell you very fast. Very, very fast. Unbelievable. Zero. Because he's not pushing, he's being very slow. I know that Britons is slower than other civilizations. But he has to be quicker. He has four trebuchet. You know, and he's trebuchet with War Wolf. He needs to kill much faster. Really much faster. You might say, no, ma'am, you, you are overreacting. Well, he killed Grey. No. This lake killed Grey. You know, pretty much. And after that, this will have go faster. Could with honest. Maybe you could go here, man. Look. If they, instead of going here, look. Look at this area, guys. Look at this area. You go here, could, and they're in the trade. But they are still going for the longer path, you know? Well, all these, it's open, basically. He has an outpost, even. Just look. They see that there's nothing here. But, well, they are still going through this corner. All right. Here we are now, with a lot of pine from Teal. Then, Green is here as well. And if they kill these paladins, and they will kill the paladins. Oh, boy. Red is now doing champions? Yellow, 25 army. is. They are now on beast mode activated. Pass 200 population, repairing this castle. And if he's taking these traps, he will kill this castle. And then Yellow will start to lose his base. And if he loses his base, GG will play. Obviously, here's where now Velez wants to say, Bam, shut up. I'm going to make now the difference. We'll see if he's going to make it. He has 40 points a lot in the queue. No goal for Andorin. Andorin should have a lot more than 20 trade cards right now. Look at this. He cannot even trade... You make houses here. Stop blocking. Stop blocking. Okay, and now the siege owners. Ooh, I might see a big bada boom here. Let's go to the right. And now, this is Trevichet. How about this and Paladins? He's gonna try to take the castles. He's taken already. Red got seven men at arms. Solid. Paladins from purple. How many? 43 and 30 in the queue with 40 trade cards. Yes. But for how long they're gonna have that trade? I don't know, man. I really don't know. Okay. He's gonna take it. Thumbry from Grey. What Grey has now? Uh-oh. Well, towers. Those towers are solid too for Velese. He's trying to go. But you need more traps. Okay, he has seven trebuchet now. Vamos! Let's go! Thank you so much, a new subscriber! Vamos, amigos! We are watching the second semi-final. And tomorrow is the grand final, remember? Grand final for the Rage Forest. Yes. Okay, Paladin, Siege Owners, Trevichis. He's going to be able to stop this. If they stop this, the chances for the lesser team are gone. Now, need to delete all the walls. I will delete all the walls. If you are going to with the Paladins. Oh, my goodness. Look at the, the owners. He's going to come. He's going to take the Trevichis. Delete all the walls. Yes, he's deleting. You don't need the walls anymore. You delete everything. My goodness. And now the Paladins are coming. Look at the Siege Owners. This is the problem with the... With the Lombos, you come with some siege and palines and you kill everything, and they are doing it. 
They are doing it. They are cleaning in this area. You can see he's going with shootles. But yellow is struggling. He has a lot of abilities, but no army. And purple? Purple is playing an amazing game here with so many paladins and 50 trade cards. All right. Ovenka resources. Wow. He can still do in paladins forever. Blue? Elite Samurais. Oh, man. Not the best spot here for the paladins. So many towers. Now castles the palines will do a good job yes but man these towers are sick the palines will drop a lot of hp he will lose them all eventually just look the paladins are going to the damn hell my goodness those towers are yasama towers guys you cannot attack there anyway he's going back now and here Bilis is still going 200 population i like it you know but great 97 bullies almost recover already okay what army he could do here with Italians? Pfft. Against, against Britons? Not too much, to be honest. Not too much. But they keep trying, man. And military numbers is similar. Population is almost the same. But they're at the limit, you know? They're here at the limit. He's gonna try to kill the siege again and more towers. Yeah, balls. Prepare the castle, maybe? Yeah? He's ignoring the castle. He's... Ooh. Ooh. Purple has so many Paladins, guys. 47 Paladins, and this is the difference. Thank you so much, Crazy Somar. And 15 Paladins only. Whoa. Well, good that they have the towers so they can hold. But here, this army from the last should be great. Look at the Siege Hornets. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bilesse lose absolutely everything. The Siege Hornets take all the damn... Lombos because his micro is like mine. So I feel proud, really proud to lose army like Vilesa is doing with Lombos. 12 range. You should never get shot like this. Never get shot like this because you can hit them back, hit them back, hit them back and kill everything. But he didn't. And now Vilesa is coming again, but he lost all the Lombos. The Trebuchet is going to kill the towers. He need to go back. And I don't know if maybe Machiar's Endorin should consider to go Kavarches. Why not? Kavarches could be good. But guys, in this side now, Red is back into the game. 200 Swordsman. And they are slinging him. 124 Bellis doing now trade. These are very strong units because they are Burmese. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Sicilians is still going with Halbert. This full helps. And Bals is still going as well. In this area, now gray with army, and I'm not sure anymore if Palestine can finish this game because it looks like now everyone is back. They have a good trade route, as you can see. Okay, well, not this. Let me check all those. This could be clean. Also, oh my god, Dragonstar is in the middle of everything, man. Unbelievable. And here he's coming again. Belese now doing the difference. He probably listened, or someone said him. Blessed man is blaming you. Dominate. Shut up his mouth. And I'm happy that he's doing that. Because now he's coming with towers, with longbows, with trebuchet, with a lot of army. He'll only having Khazars, not the greatest. But he has traps. So he's gonna kill the, the towers. He will. Sorry guys, there's an ad in the in the channel, but this game is so long and it has to be an ad in the middle of the game. No worries. The game is not gonna be over. And uh, well, it's what it is, guys. Twitch with the ads. You can tell to the people that he's not subscriber, so I'm sorry, but well, the ad is there. Anyway, Trebuchet, Sea Chorners, now he's doing 200 swords as well. But guys, so many paladins from purple. To me, Ovenka is doing an incredible and very strong game. Really, really strong game. Nick now finally having more army. This is for the damn Shuttles. But Shuttles? Eh? Shuttles is not needed anymore. He need more siege. Now, I feel that, that really, the lesser team can come back. Wow. And this could be the first loss in the tournament for Balstein. With a crazy position here, he's going to lose the castle. They lost all the towers here. And this castle also? Aye, aye, aye. Well, he killed it now with the samurai. He has... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Elite samurai. Gray is still trying with... With all these skirmishes. And you know what I'm missing here? Siege Rams. I think Siege Rams could push him back. Because 
Lombos are not gonna kill the siege ramps easily, you know. But hey, let's see in this area. Are they gonna be able to to to, to hold or not? Oh boy, it can happen. We will see. Look at these siege owners and the bomber cannons. He's trying to make the battle boom. Look at the traps, taking absolutely everything. Gonna wall this area or, or not? Because well, it's still far, far, very far for the for the trade. Well, for those people that just joined it, this is the race for the second semi-final. And definitely a great game now. Back and forth, it was looking that they could take the game balls, but now, ooh, the panels are coming again. And again, he's sending, look what he's doing. He sent the panels and now the onagers, but now he's going back. Yes, Vilesa took a huge bada boom. Not anymore, not anymore. No, 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 Tira para atrás. He's going back. Okay. Now he's not getting that. But this is many paladins. Now the Trevor is going to take the towers. But the spot is not the greatest. The towers should kill the owners and he kill it. Yes. So many paladins here. Incredible amount of paladins now. And the towers. You need more traps. Those towers are crazy strong. And now with the owners, he's killing the paladins as well. Go, go, go. Kill the paladins. I love it. Yeah. Good job. Killing the paladins for your teammate. Okay. In the other side, we see the siege owners on the house. Still trying to hold. Is this gonna wall? He walled balls. All right. And I insist. This spot is so important. Yeah, it is important. You 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 can cut all the spot, but it's crazy how here they are holding. Here they are holding. Very difficult for Britain to push. He's trying the lesser, but need more treasure. How much trade he has? 36 trade cut. Resources at the limit. Ovenka, crazy that he still have gold. Yeah, and red. Crazy that he has no champions yet. Holy shit. Make champions, man. I mean, seriously, 200 swords? He maybe think that he has my life, but it were missed. Yeah, make the champion upgrade. Why the red is not doing the champions? I don't know. 150 villains, which is hilarious. We have so many villains and only 13 red. Champion upgrade, let's go! Woo! 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 Okay, champion upgrade, one hour game. Let's go, baby. We have champion also for 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 balls, but honestly, he's not that important. He got samurai still now. Now he has no castle, so he can make samurais. And now with the helps, mm. okay, archers, crossbowmen. Man, they're pushing back here. What the hell? How is this even possible? Well, because they have three players and now Gray is spamming. But Andre has his skirmishers. Well, with traps and Palace is helping. Here I feel that Orange is kind of lonely. Britons. But I miss traps. Traps with War Wolf. And kill those. And now Bounce is here with towers too. What the hell? Great consistency for those teams. In this area, they are trying to push. Oh. They are cutting here. They don't have an old army. They, they wall with houses. Nice. And Bals still have now, well, it's the same army, man. They have similar amount of army. They could do here, if Andre get gold, which he doesn't have gold yet, they could do maybe bomber cannons. It's true that the Lombos kill it. They don't have siege engineers, so eh, it's not that great. I'm just trying to, to, to give you guys options, you know? To tell you options, people in the stream, that they could do. It's true that it's true that here Italians are kind of useless you know oh beautiful shot by green to the skirmishes from his teammate awesome he killed all gray army because Gre green is thinking this army is shit just kill it i mean you don't need it you know delete it i mean why you put the skirmishes there so i will kill your own army and do something else you know it is what it is anyway another thing that in my opinion uh gray could do uh, Maybe, well, he has Paladins, way Cavaliers. I was going to say Cavaliers because Gray is useless army now. Anyway, oh, he could do Bomber Towers actually. Buy a stone and make Bomber Towers. Well, it's the only thing, but he got traps. Useless army. On this side, no, no. Now, the longer the game goes, it should be the lesser game. The lesser team game. And you can see the score. I don't know what do you think, guys, but the civilizations for the late game are better now for the lesser team like thinking Britons better than Italians Ethiopians better than Sicilians 
Mahyars and Persians, well, Paladins and Paladins. And then Japanese Burmese, I would say Japan better too, but the advantage they have Britons and Ethiopians is much better than the Japanese over Burmese. All right? I think so. So, let's see, because Purple is here, Paladins and Lombos, you need more Trebuchet, and in this area, Balt has Champions, Fortified Trade Card, look at the trade for everyone. Purple has 72 trade card. What? Dramasai is gonna slank? Sick. Finally, he's gonna give some resources. My goodness. Uh oh. See, Chonis, man. But he's Ethiopian's on it. Ethiopian's on it. Pretty sick. Well, they keep us sending paladins. What about if. If. If Ray. Well, are they slinging a lot or not? Actually, they do. Balls 10,000 resources. And Gray. Green, sorry, 12,000 resources to Andorin and to Andre. Yeah, but now Andre is doing his camps. So, his army is irrelevant now. Pavis, Pavis now? All right. Yeah, but his army is just, they are pushing back. They are really pushing back in this. They keep more or less similar position. They are trying to go here? Nah, they got nothing in this area. They can't go anymore. Uh... It's Vilesse game, guys. It's Vilesse team. And Balz is losing the first game in the tournament, probably. It's gonna take probably a while, but now Vilesse is doing the damage. He has a lot of farming. He has, look, he has 5,000 wood. It's time to delete Vilesse for Vilesse. Really. He's doing Elite East Cross Bowman. Useless army against the Longos. They have the range, you know, so there's no chance. Well, in this area, eh, they're still in this spot constantly. Okay, one tower here, killing those villains, but now they're pushing. He's coming with a lot of Palais again. Purple has Palais, well, and Ona has Halvardius as well. All the castles going down. Look at those traps, they delete the markets. They keep that market only. Okay. They could also could the map till the corner. That will help a lot because they have a huge trade from the edge of the map to the edge of the map. And here, guys, Paladins and Lombos. He's going back a little bit. Look at the Ones coming with the Paladins. The Genoese Crosswoman now helped a lot against the Paladins. That's true. So the problem is the Orange Army. But guys, don't worry. I mean, if they delete, they're going to keep going. They are brutality try hard. You know? Okay. Yeah, the amount of army here is insane. Now he has a lot of army too, uh, Mr. Mr. Nick. And how is this going? Man, you have to fix this. Seriously. Delete houses, even delete the TC. Could this trees? GG call! First loss in the tournament for Bal's team. They tried. There was a moment that it was looking that they will make it. And we have to say that the lesser team did an incredible comeback. And honestly, I got to tell you, you might check a lot the score. For me, MVP in this game. Who do you think is the MVP on the lesser team? Who do you think is the, uh, the MVP? Let's see. It's Ovenka, man. Ovenka is the best player in their team, in my opinion, by far. You know, by far. Like Persians, is not a game difference uh, civilization. And you're going to see the amount of farming he did. Ovenka, Ovenka, and without check the statistics, 800 unit kills. The most in the game by far. The other Paladin civilization, 400 unit kills. Ovenka did a brutal game. 75 army high, while Andorin 53. 75. And when I check the economy, you're going to understand why I'm telling Ovenka. Oh! The trade for Ovenka, 34,000 gold in the trade. Check everyone else. The closer is Nick with 7,000 gold less. He got 16,000 more gold in the trade than Thundering. Obviously, the map helps because they are going from one corner to the other corner, basically. The trade here, I mean, if it was okay, this area, all this is a lot of gold less. You know? I mean, I can check here. It give 91 gold its trade card, while here... It gives 110, you know, 
110. So it's 20 gold more per trade card. All these details matters, matters a lot, you know? And, well, it was a great game. And uh, obviously, uh, well, Vilese also did 82 largest army, which is very nice. It's a lot. And then Italians and so on. Well, fantastic game, guys. Game number three in the house. Very interesting. We are with a new patch, guys, and this is game number three. Let's go, baby. And now, ooh, let's go. Bals team. What is this? Bals versus Vilesi. What is this shape? Just wall here, then. What the hell? Yeah, just wall this area, and you're fine. This is Bohemians versus Vilesi Hindustanis. Ah, oh, but Vilesi, I don't know how he play. I don't like how he play. This is a very bad play. I'm gonna explain to you in a moment why it's a bad play, depending on where he's walling. Okay. This is a really bad play. Because when you when you see the map, you see, being here, that your opponent is much farther than you. You don't need to make the loom early. You just go and blue will never be in time here. That's why blue is not even sending villages. So you can wall without doing the loom. And you might say, well, he has to go there. Doesn't matter. He can go here easily because green is also super far and you don't need to make the loom. You know, you have to analyze the map to make these small decisions. That's why Bals is gonna now go without the loom and maybe to wall without the loom as well. Because exactly, he see the map is super far. He's waiting his opponent, now he wall and he's gonna be ahead to be less say, as you can see. He's gonna try to walk here forward. Now he's gonna help having the loom. Yes, and he will take one, two, three, four, five. Wow, a lot of rhinos. In the south. Okay, still, he could do all this without the loom. He's gonna walk here. What? Just walk here, man. Yeah. Then gray, flank. Going, he walled in this area. And now, Incas. Is Sirius descending a Belier? I don't get this player, man. Anyway, Gray will have a safe wall in this area. And as I told you... What? Why are you walling like this? Like, seriously? Yeah, well. It's not needed, man. Just wall like this or isn't... You know. <laughs> well, I don't understand. More, more wood that you're gonna use. And now wall like this. Imagine that now he's walling like this. Maybe he's gonna wall like this, and then he take a stone and gold? Okay, I don't understand this wall. Do, do you understand this wall? Make no sense. Anyway. He's walling this way. I don't know if he's gonna make a lumber camp here. No, he has a lumber camp in this area. And Teal is coming for a lake. Remember, Burgundians. Well, Burgundians with a lake is a sick economy. Sick economy. What is this? Walls by orange. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, well, he walled completely here. This is very easy to recover. But Bals is still without a loom. Uh, and he will send probably a villager to wall here. We'll see. On this area, they are walling all. And nobody go aggressive. Let's see if they are going to make difference, something different, because I have said that they are not really aggressive uh, players. The most aggressive is usually Dragonstar, and he died. He, he killed himself. This time, he didn't. Echo, K, uh, Echo KD, zero for everyone. I don't see. Well, Ondrek, 47 seconds. So he's actually behind the Dragonstar. Analyzing the matchup. Well, what do you prefer, guys? Bengalis or Incas? Player 2 is open? No. His wall... Oh! 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 I mean, and now, ladies and gentlemen, 
unbelievable. Please ban him from the tournament. Oh. Guys, I really want to ask you, what do you think about this gameplay? Okay, let's see what you say. Oh, come on! No, no! Come on! Don't be too harsh! Don't be too harsh! Oh, come on, man. Seriously, man. Don't be too harsh, man. It, it can happen, you know? This walls, it can happen, you know? Anyway, imagine now, playing guys against Bengalis. Andre, and now Bengalis going for a monk rush here. Oh, it can be brutal. Honestly, if you take the Dark Age, Red, Dragon Star has two bullets more than Grey. So, if Grey didn't fail with these walls, you know, he will be in a very good position. Well, in an okay position, because right now he lost all the map control. That's true. Orange is walling like crazy. And blue, I love it, man. Baltz is going aggressive. Nice. Well, he probably don't want to play against Hindustanis with the lake. Okay. But is this going to work? Well, well, well. I like that he's trying to go aggressive, but I'm not sure. Green need to come siege. Honestly. And uh, you know why you don't want to play against a potential pocket with conquistadors? Guys. Because, oh man. Okay. What I will do if I'm them? I will defend here and purple. I will come here with a castle. Kongs into the pocket. Except if you see that green is coming. That it can happen to. Green for now, two on goal. No barracks. So I'm going to go market and blast it. And the game is going to be very interesting. Purple. Oh. He's gonna lose the scout. No, because he's fat. Look at look how fat it is, this purple scout, you know? My goodness. Get on diet like me. Let's go. Man, he's so slow, man. <sighs> Disaster. Uh, anyway. Like, let's see now. He's gonna take the tower? Nope. Okay. Okay, jokes aside, guys. There's many possibilities now to do. Seriously. I hope... Well, Purple is going to come with a castle. Ovenka. The problem with Ovenka here is he has to micro... Oh. What is Velese going to do? Is he crazy? Oh, he's going to... A Lambert? What? What's happening? Why a Lambert camp here? It's the third Lambert camp in this area. In, in two, three and four, please. Three, four, five, please. Five, six, oh! Callado, <laughs> Yambre, shut up. Let me, let me see this. Come on, guys, stop, stop going with the crowd, man. But now, he's gonna take the six rhinos or not. Oh, he's gonna lose the villain, man. Oh my god, he's gonna lose the villain. No. Oh, he's gonna lose the villain. Oh. I can't believe if he's losing the villain, man. The villain, man, the villain. Come on, it's a scarlet. It's brunette. It's. it's, it's. Oh. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> all the all the rhinos going back, man. All the bye bye. All the rhinos. Hey, he's gonna bring now, but uh, okay. This is why he have the lumber camp here because he's gonna bring in a second. You know? Okay, okay. He's gonna try again. Oh, oh now he's killing the, his own villager. Oh, 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 look at this blocking. Is this Belese? Is this more for who is this one? This is insane, man. All calculated. Okay, okay. It's good, man. 
It's so much fun. But guys, where is he doing the castle? Where Ovenka is doing the castle? And blue now. Wall, amigo. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. He killed it with the TC. What? And he lost village, right? No. He didn't lose village, but here... I see five rhinos, so he killed one with the tone center. All right. Delete the palisades. Oh my god. Balls, balls, balls. And green, zero army. Purple can do a lot of damage. Delete the damn palisade. Delete the palisade, my goodness. No? Okay. It's fine. Now he's doing the loom. He's not deleting the palisade. He's gonna go in with the conks. He's gonna let him wall. If, I, if he's letting wall, uh, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Balls. Wall. Purple. Going in. Okay. Yeah, he's being slow, but he's going. And now the conks. Total and brutal domination. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a big, 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 big fail here by Balls. He's going castle, yes, but Orange is going up too. This is here wall. He has the tower. Is he gonna defend here? Well, we will see. Those villages are down, and now it's time to defend here with houses. The Kongs, the market, the tower. This is a brutal mess. What is Velesia should, should do now? Well, the Kongs are coming. He's doing the second town center. The problem here is that you need to make real damage with the Kongs. If you don't, your echo is fa is falling really behind. I like how now we see Grey booming. He's not going for more grass, Andre. Okay. And Dragon Star, it's booming as well. Four tone centers. The Kongs are coming and now Micro is crucial. In the previous game, Ovenka played insane. How he's gonna play now with this? Because this is a lot more multitasking. The previous game, it was just more about the macro. When you have your economy going with Persians, you have to just set up a great macro and then spam. Now it's completely different. You have to multitask and here... Is this... Is this a joke? Is this... Is this a joke? Velese let this happen? Velese let this go in? He didn't wall anything? And now archers are killing his fish? His villages and... Is this for real? Happening? Brutality. Brutality. Anyway, the Kongs are here. And now you... Oh, he's gonna make university. To make crossbows and maybe ballistic. I don't know. All right. Mangrel is there. And now... Wall, man. He's not gonna wall. What is he doing? I don't know. Blue has done already damage to the lesson. He killed quite a lot of the fish. Yeah, man. But the Kongs... Uh, well, he's taking villages. But he lost a couple of Kongs too. And now... The crops are there, and he's losing the Kongs. Remember that the Kongs now got one Pierce armor less. And guys, Ovenka doing a tone center, Spanish village, but it's not Sicilians. You have to make the TC quick. Otherwise, big problems. Ooh, okay. Well, I can tell you that that's a good situation shot. Very nice. Very nice move. Yeah. Very nice move. The siege was But guys, this castle is killing themselves. Do you agree? Not because of the castle, because of this. Good walls now, but late, amigo. This has delayed them a lot. A lot. Pocket is with 46 Velez now, while the other pocket 72. And Velez. Full Titanic, man. Full Titanic, let's say. Wow. All right. He's completely dead. Wow, wow, wow. Well, Buzz is out playing big time now. He has Ballistic on the way. The archers are inside. He has to be careful with that galley. Yes. Eh, it's not worth it, that. That's not good. He's here also, but he forced also Yellow to make Scorpions. But it's fine for Nick. He has Saracens. He has a good boom. 94 population. But Teal is already on the way to Imperial with Burgundians. 
on the way to Imperial in minute 23 with over 100 bellies. Imagine the paladins that he's gonna make and how fast they are going to be. Hey, what is this? Why your wallet like this? He's afraid already? Oh my goodness. Anyway, yellow is up to Imperial too. And now let's say, yeah, they have cleaned it, but the Kongs, I insist, purple is so behind. He has four TCs, but you can see how the castle, oh my God, more villages down. How many barrels has killed? Quite a lot. Vilesi has lost already six villages. Six villages, one has killed eight. This is the tone center. His wall already, but the timing, the momentum is now for the Burgundians. The question is, what the hell is Gray doing, man? Walling all the map? Okay. The question here is, where he's going to attack? He's going to the north. I like it. And it makes sense. He should do bomber cannons or onagers. His economy? Gonna be very strong. Burgundian's economy? Very, very strong. Remember, they are not wall. You know? So, orange, purple, you need to wall. This and this. If they don't, the paladins can fly. All over the map. Yellow, Nick will have Mamelukes. He's gonna go Mamelukes because if he's doing Mamelukes, then the Paladins will not fly anymore. <laughs> right? They won't. They really won't fly at all. But let's... Ooh. Okay. Kongs are coming. You have to be careful. China, China Canada score. We don't want to know. We didn't cast here and nobody say the score here, please, because we're gonna cast recorded games. If someone say, feel free mods to ban from the channel. Okay, let's see the castle here. Why people want to see the score? Just go and check in the in the websites or Wikipedia. But we don't want to know a score. We will cast recorded games. Okay. No spoilers. Be careful there. And now, ooh, okay. Blue, finish the castle. Now you can finish. He's coming with barracks. So, green and teal are coming to balls. And I repeat, zero walls here. This is incredible. Like, incredible. Viles is gonna get destroyed. If they don't defend, they're gonna get destroyed. Purple is now walling, but this is open completely. It's now going around. Yes. Well, Ovenka realized that this is not good. And Orange, you need to wall them up. If they could, my goodness. He's sending some. Anyway, elite Mamelukes. The Mamelukes are amazing. Just look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's open. Oh. Ovenka. Oh, deal. Nice. He's going to kill the walls. I like it. Yeah, he's, he's, he's nice. Blue's doing a castle in this area. University. Red Imperial Age. Gray Imperial Age as well. But Vilesse is sadly very behind. He should be in a very good position, but since he never wall it, he's now in the same position than blue, pretty much, which is not good. He's definitely not good. He's in Dustanis. Let's see if he's gonna get some slink. This castle is gonna be down. Now purple is on the way to Imperial, but green is going to cut. And they are not ready at all. Now he's walling. Eh, but Vilesa is not taking in consideration it's things like Gray. Look at Gray what he did. Do you see what Gray did? And look at Vilese what he did. So, Vilese is about to die. He's gonna cut now very easily. And is the Mamelux going to be an oath? Mamelux. Problem with the Mamelux. Well, army from teal and green. It's come from barracks, from stables. You know, super fast. Now, Vilese got nothing. Nothing, as you can see. It's incredible, man. It is really... Oh! Didn't kill it. Seriously? Oh, it was one petar. Holy, ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. One extra life for Vilese. One extra life. Stop cutting, man. And he could here. But Vilese, can you wall? Oh, oh. Oh, a house. Okay, very solid. Oh, it's open here. Okay, open still. And now the house is gonna wall. No. La, la, la. Anyway. The Mamalus are here, yes. Now he's sending Kamayux. Kamayux is great against this army, amazing. But, okay, he won it. So he didn't let him go. The problem is that they need to hold fast 
They need now this camera use now elite camera use they eat the paladins man they eat the paladins they are a great between the castles and now Drago are playing very good really really good he's super ahead with in his score to Andre you can see Andre has the same village but no army while he has already 30 elite Kamayuks and red is coming from the other side so Dragon Star did them this mistake but after that he's playing amazing the problem is that now these castles are in danger trebuchet and they are dead anyway Mamelukes, Cameos, Mobility, Green with the help. Using these units, Mamelukes, they are great, but it's so difficult. You know, really, really difficult. He has a trade card, but where he's trading? Uh, here, Oof. the map. They are losing a lot of map control. Orange, well, Bilesi is dead. He has 84 Belize, while Val is now 101. And in my opinion, Bilesi has played in this game. I don't know if they can recover and come back. But till now, he has played very sloppy. Don't know what you think, but very, very sloppy. Now, you can see the elite Mamelukes and the Kamayuks. Cleaning all. Really cleaning all. The list is going to make a castle here. Okay. But he's getting raided and losing more and more villages with the damn Hindustanis. Then, Ovenka is Spanish. But what I told you, Trebuchet are coming and castles down. Always make the castles at the back, you know. Good thing here, I will, I will put a market in this area. Houses the lead, market here, into this area. Perfect, but make the market here. It's a Spanish trade. So, with a Spanish trade, even if you don't have the great map control, you can survive. You really can survive. Red now is starting to lose the army. Why? Because he's lonely. Yeah? The Mamelus are chasing shadows and Orange is still losing all. He's gonna make the castle and let's see if he's gonna get the slink. Purple? Gonna have the paladins already there. Yes, he will. And the good thing is that only green got army now. Deal got some, but those panels are not the most, the strongest panels in the game. Definitely not. Problem is that now, elite elephant arches are coming. And you will need a lot of things to stop this. Oh my lord. Kamayuks and monks, probably. Why you, I don't understand these players. I mean, why you could here, man? Is your trade and your opponent is attacking you here and you're cut in this area. <laughs> okay, he's gonna kill everything with four Kamayuks. While at home, he's gonna have 14 elite elephant arches and trebuchets. Don't get it. Now they stabilize completely because those elite Mamelukes are sick. Paladins plus four. Setagani is gonna go hand cannoneers. Okay, 98 villages. But here? Oh wow, but you will see now how the Kamayuks eat this. I mean, when they are face to face, they lead the walls, the camels eat the elephants. Just look. Look, 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 look. They, they gonna eat the elephants, man. Oh my god, they just eat them. Literally. When they are face to face, but don't chase those, just go here. They just look how they die. They die instantly! I told you, who said that the Incas it was bad in this matchup? And now he's raiding. Okay, so he's right. He's killing here. What the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, a game that was looking bad, now a guy with these civilizations. And how? Now Drowsar is playing, he's gonna make a total domination. Yeah, the Kamayuks destroy these Bengalis in certain situations are trash. And now they are trash. They have nothing against Incas. What they do have against Incas? Nothing. The Kamayuks are halberdiers on steroids, you know? It's like this. It's house on asteroids. They went to the gym for one year. Oh, really? Well, the others is starting the gym, you know? Is what it is. Anyway, let's see. He took everything. Gray is dead. He's dying, better say. Now, make a gate here. Palines are coming, but you know what? Kamayuks killed the Palines as well. Blue Hufnische. Oh, no! 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 The mama looks. This is the problem with this civilization. The Mamelukes have only three range. You need to micro them like God. Bals still have no army yet. But look at the Kamayuks, man. Lonely with Kamayuks, he can dominate. And now, please, Dragon Star, take this castle and stonewall this. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, okay, we will see. They need to, 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 to save this. 
The game, amazing. The lesson, recovering. Where's the trade? They're still trading here, but I will trade here, honestly. Anyway. Yeah, we will see. Look at the Mamalus, man. No, they have an amazing civilization combination here. The, the, the civilization that, that maybe can do the difference is Bohemians, but Vals still have a lot of a lot of villages, but no army. And I insist, a Spain is straight for the win. Why he's not walling, man? Oh my god. Okay. Well, he's gonna take the castle. Now gonna come with more Kamayuks. Now Paladins. And now Red lost everything. I don't get it, man. I don't get the Dragon Star, man. When he's dominating, he's not just... Uh, 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 well, he's walling. Why you wall? You kill all. Well, anyway. He's not consistent. He's really not consistent. Industanis. They have hand cannoneers. Green Bulgarians. Halves and sea owners. The Paladins, they're great. But now I want to see Bombard Towers. Where's the stone? Well, they don't have a stone. And Ovenka again with a lot of resources. 13 trade cards. How is the trade? 23. 40 trade cards for Teal. Yeah, but Burgundians... It's kind of crap. The longer the game goes, now the Mamalus just eat Bengalis and they come. Oh my god. Hey, where's Red Army, man? And I insist, wall this, man. He's not walling. So, okay. The Camus will kill a guy in this. It's okay, but you need to kill or the trade will die. The Mamalus are here. They're great, but. Yeah, Dragon Star. Did he play weird, man? I mean, he's a fast player, obviously, but he played weird. He could easily say. And Venga Hombre! And now he's walling here! What, 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 what the hell, man? You can wall here or even forward. And look at the walls he's trying. Well, he's now trying to kill this. He will kill it. Obviously, the Camelos are sick, but he has a lot of Camelar, um, Elephant Arches. He will kill them all. And you need to, wall, to kill and wall forward. Secure your base, man. It's crazy how Dragon Star, a position that was looking amazing, is now struggling a lot on the other side. In the meanwhile, the Palais are just dying because they have Siege Honors and Hubnisha. All right. But the Hubnisha by, by Bals is going down too. And now Vilesse is doing an incredible, incredible recover. Look his population. He was 90 villages not so long ago. Now he has full recover. He has straight and crazy hand cannon ears. Not fully abraded, but he has the 9 range. And here the Mamalus keep going. Here red is still struggling. And I don't know why he's struggling like this. Seriously. Yeah, well, the trade is even taking here. No, stop pulling there. I mean, seriously. I mean, red. I mean, what outpost? If you see it already, he has the trebuchet here. Just go wall forward, man. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. He deleted the market. He lost two castles here. And well, 158 villages. And zero Kamayus in the... In the in the queue because he's not trading. Yeah, I mean you have a Spanish and you don't trade. You die. You die. You don't want to lose this castle. He has only now. No, he has castles and notes, but he, the problem is that he has no resources. He's creating more Kamayuks and he need to focus here in the north. Paladins is not the answer. You can see now how they have full halberdiers. So. Why now Venka instead of Palace is not going, for example? How about this as well? Or champions and Bombard Towers use their resources for something to counter this. You know? You can even make monks, missionaries, that we saw yesterday how great they were. And you convert the Hubnisha. The army he has right now is make this so easy to green and blue. Green and blue only have halves. Full halves. So I stop doing Paladins. Champions. Champions and Bomber Cannons even. So, you go Bomber Cannons, kill the Siege. Remember, Bomber Cannons from Spanish. They don't have Siege Engineer, no, but they shoot faster. So, it can help, you know? But Bomber Towers and, and, and Champions, Halberdiers, whatever. But Paladins is so expensive, and they die super fast against Bohemian. Then, you might want to snipe the, the Siege Honest. Well, for, for that, you have the Bomber Cannons. Yeah, and they have 13 range, so, yeah, it's okay. Now he's coming with the Paladins. Obviously, you feel that having crazy amount of hand cannons is a note, but it seems that it's not a note. Now the Paladins are gonna do the job. Okay, Ooh. okay, but they're still losing a lot. As you can see, it's crazy. And here, the Camus and 
the Mamelukes. But the guy walling in this area, he got only a few camel arches and, and camel arches again. A little of an arches and skirmishes. He should clean and go forward. Yeah. Anyway. Teal is the one who is doing bomber towers. In this spot, they are losing all. And purple is doing the steel paladins, which is not the answer. The trade. They are doing a bad trade here. When they should make the trade here, because then the trade will go to this area. You see? All this area. And they wouldn't be in danger. The trade is going close to the battle and also all is blocked. Yeah. Then here, you should go now with a few bomber cannons, kill wall, and try to secure this area. Wall here, and you trade from this area to here. It would be a perfect trade. Even here is fine. Spanish trade is just solid enough to do the job. But they are not thinking about all these details. And that's gonna cost them the game if they get into the trade and kill all the trade cards. We'll see. Yeah. Well, here is a bad position for sure. Because he's very close to the, his, his base. And now, uh, just kill this on wall, man. Coming with traps. Use wall here. Do not, you have to secure this area. And that's it. Anyway, the other spot. I still insist that this is a dangerous, dangerous army composition. Okay. And green. Well, another thing that they could take. Take the lake. Kills the villains here. Take the lake and make cannon galleons. What the hell? Anyway, now Paladin is here. Siege owners. Are they walling here or not? Why he is still going with traps? No clue. He's doing bomber towers. Fine. But here, red, 165 villages. Too many villages. 51 trade cap. That's great. Man, the, the Spanish trade is just, it's just crazy. Seriously. Wow, 140 gold is trade cut, man. What the hell? 140 gold is trade cut, while here, 100. Which is fine. 100 gold is a lot. But they have... 40 gold more per trade card. Again. So, let's see. I still repeat. Ovenka, 900 stone. Is start to make bomber towers. Is gonna make them or not? Well, we will see. And here there is Mamalus. Remember that Mamalus don't die against skirmishes. Why? Because skirmishes is cavalry. And now, if you make siege rams and full Kamayuks, just poop -poo push. Here, this is the way to go. Gate. And now... They can push here with the Camayus and the Mamalus. They shouldn't be, have a problem against this army, in my opinion. Bombard Towers, let's go. And now Siege Rams. Ooh, ooh, the Mamalus also here in the middle. Trying to kill here. They want to go to the trade, but they don't need it. Ladies and gentlemen, I really think that this is going to be a really, really rough game for Ball's team again. Because the Spanish trade, for me, is the best team bonus for these kind of games. For me, it's the best. Because with this crazy gold that you can get, you can buy resources, you can buy stone, you can have more army with less, with less villages or less trade card even if you want. And if you have the same trade card, you will have always more resources, you know? Yeah, 25% gold is crazy, you know? Everyone knows that Spanish civilization and we in Spain, we got an incredible trade bonus in real life. I, we always wonder in Spain why the hell they gave these bonus, you know, to the to, to, to the game, you know. I mean, our economy is well. I'm not gonna say anything, but people the key in the stream, economia española con dos cojones, three trebuches taking the castle. Look at the mamalus. He's gonna take absolutely everything. And now with the siege rams, look at the camayuks. He's gonna go and poo 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 or not? Ay ay ay. Spanish economy is we're gonna be partnered with the bank, you know, because we're gonna have to pay them till we die. Anyway, elite conic. Ooh. Okay, be careful there. Nah. It's impossible. It's impossible. Wow. Look at this civilization here. They only need to hold here because right now. Burgundians become useless. Bengalis is a useless civilization in this matchup. Look at the siege rams. And guys, what a gameplay here by Vilesa team. Pal's team 
in big problems. Civilizations for the late game matters a lot, as you can see. And this combination, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the amount of Mamalus. And honestly, Nick is playing insane here. They have crazy... And look at Ovinka resources. He can make Bombard Towers all over the map. And can you tell me how you stop this? Gray is completely dead. And guys, Vilesa team to the undefeated team from Bals is getting the lead in the series. Unstoppable amount of army, siege rams, and Dragon Star that kind of failed in the start and did some moves that wasn't the greatest. He has huge amount of army now. Siege rams, onagers, camayus, and ladies and gentlemen, Bals will have to come back from the hell. Honestly, when I saw these civilizations, I was like, this is much better, much better for Vilesa team. Yes, this civilization choice, look at the Mamalus killing absolutely all the trade now. It's over, guys. It's over. They need to move the trade here. Yes, and make tra uh, market in the corner. Gray, move everything. But guys, the problem is what Burgundias can do now. I can tell you. They can't do anything. And now, with this army, hand cannoneers, bomber cannons, paladins, more bomber towers, go, go, go. Crazy resources for purple. Yeah, it is, it's impossible to stop. It's really impossible to stop. Even the, the Krepos and, uh, well, Bengalis. Bengal is destroyed completely. Let's go team builds, my fellow Nordic. Dragon Star sent 5k gold to Nick. Look at gold for Nick right now. Dragon Star resources, please. Check the resources for Dragon Star and he just sent it 5,000 gold. 5,000 gold. And his economy, man. 3k gold instantly here for, for the Dragon Star. What the hell is that economy now? Ay, ay, ay. Anovenka, he can't delete Vilius. I told you guys, GG call Spanish economy for the win. All right, 2-1, guys. And uh, Vilesa team, that was looking, you know, you know how it was looking in the start. It's looking now very good, right? It's looking really nice. Statistics, military. Nick, obviously, with those Mamalus, kill a lot. Vilesa at the end, insane as well. But economy? Well, Andre did 20k trade. Yeah. But look at Nick, 21,000. Andrek, 4k. Bulgarian's pocket, 4k. Everyone on, on Vilesa team with a lot of trade. Except Bals, 10k, 18,000. 14k, 16,000 resources, you know? And, well, I mean, seriously really really great combination they were struggling in the start but the army they have and nick the score that this is scary 27000 well uh, total domination and we are going for game 4 is very interesting series guys let's go let's keep going amigos and let's see game number 4 remember guys that the grand finals are tomorrow but you know what i think about dravidians completely trash now he's sending a valir right away but look at the wolf he's gonna find a wolf an orange now vilesa is doing the loom now i like that he's doing this is lithuanians sending two valirs and with lithuanians oh boy there's a wolf he's sending another valir and he's gonna see the wolf now Ah, oh, baby. And I like what Gray is doing. He need to wall safe. Because you can't compete against Lithuanians. Orange is already going to the middle. But send the scout past to your Valir or you're gonna lose it. Okay. Blue, Ondrek in the other side. By the way, Ondrek is now gray. Let's put gray and Bals blue so you don't get confused. 
Blue balls on the other side. Uh, I don't understand these walls. This pause, why it is this pause? They don't have the third goal, which is fine. But honestly, you want to play with Vietnam versus Byzantines in this map. Look how was the map open here. Why you call for a third goal a restart when you can trade? I think I will have to take the risk. This position is true that Mongols, well, Mongols need resources. Eh, it's tricky. Because Mongols don't have economy. If you cannot trade, yeah, it's very tricky with the Mongols. Yeah, it's very important. It is very important, and with the with the Mongols, it's very tricky. It's right to call this. It's very dangerous to keep going. In general, and we keep going. I always try to to focus in the action, in the play by play, let's say. But if there's questions about why the players are doing this or that, don't feel shame. I will feel happy to answer everything. You know. <laughs> Everything. I, I love to give details if you need it, you know. Sometimes I, I can't attend to believe that people know what we are watching. I know it's not, uh, it's not for everyone. Don't worry. Ask. We're here for that, you know. To help people to learn, you know. But since there's many things like Belair fights, I cannot explain many details. You know, there's no time to explain. But if you ask something specific, we will answer for sure. All right. Bals as a blue here. Dravidians, Dragons are Vietnam now, sending villages forward, he's gonna wall here? He will? No, this is greedy, and eh, it won't happen, these walls, or maybe it will, no, the palaces are so weak, guys, so weak, yellow is here, but now he has three villages, he's gonna start to lose villages now, yeah, will be a problem, on the other side, some villages fight, well, you wanted the restart, and now you got the restart. And now you are going to be in problems. Blue is going to wall here. Yeah, he will. There's two legs now. I like a lot more this position. Oh, and he's still going for more village fight. Interesting. Now he's going to send another village and orange. Is he walling here? Uh, Vilese? Yeah, and he's doing this because of his... Civilizzazione. With one is walling and with two is attacking. Now he's gonna send more, but gonna lose the scout. Bad play by Velese. These need to be walled faster. Why he's not sending one or two villages more? No clue. Now he's gonna lose all the momentum. Uh oh. Ah! Oh! No! No, amigo! No! Full Titanic! Yeah, and now with the Lithuanians, you're gonna be in problem. He lost the scout, and now. La la la. He needs to send more villages, and he's sending now two more. Yes, this is gonna be close, but the two villages more and coming. And now he should go forward and wall, in my opinion. Wall now. He's gonna lose a villager. The scout is almost bye bye. He's bye bye now and send now the four villages there. Five villages with full HP. All right. And here, he's walling more forward. Interesting. You know, to make this, the best will be that red didn't send anything. But you never know what's gonna happen, right? And now this village fight is definitely better for Lithuanians, for what I explained. Yeah, he's walling now, and if I was orange, a lumber camp still happen, but he has no wood at all yet. I will do a lumber camp here, close. You can't go... Yeah, you need to make the lumber camp here. With those stragglers, he might be able to take it. Take the wood. Yep, let's see. And now he's gonna wall. But he's gonna wall also here. He's doing the lumber camp. This is a very 
good position for Orange. Thing here is, he's two villages ahead. You see? Look. But let's say one second idle. Ondrek, 46 seconds. This is what I was explaining before. So this is basically two villages behind. Pretty much. Dragons are already a minute, you know? And this is my princess that is called Daniela and is my, 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 my love. My love. Because I love her. Yes. Later. After the stream. Okay? Okay, let's see. Ooh. Correct. In my bed. Okay. Okay, let's see now the bot. He's gonna take the village. He's gonna block it. Ooh. But what he's gonna try to achieve here? Oh, oh. Well, he's gonna kill a villager. He's gonna lose the scout. He's gonna lose the scout. Out! Mira, 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 mira! Ooh! Wait. Okay, he's gonna walk here now. Yeah, but he killed a villager. And now he's gonna attend two villages to try to kill. Ah, uh, is this necessary good? I don't know. Yellow is here with the scout, but he's bringing more. Well, well these things just delayed himself as well. And now his house said, you see guys, his house said, look at now Vals. Daniela is, Daniela is growing. Is my princess. She bought it today, a new t-shirt with my actual size for Superman. Right? Huh? Huh? She was buying with my wife. Uh oh, uh oh. He's gonna break this palisade or not? Nah. Oh, he's... Okay. Superman. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> okay, let's see what he's going to... Do. Oh, he's trying to wall off. What the hell? Now sending four villages, even five villages. This is a brutal chaos. But guys, look at blue. He's going to go up already. Wow. He's on the way to feudal age. And now he's going to wall here. Tubal is inside. This is really bad for Drango Star. Really, really bad for Drango Star. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, I mean, this is terrible right now. And Balsi is dominating. No, a jugar no. Si tú vas a ser comentarista como yo. No juego. Joder, ¿cómo te sale en inglés? She will study, right, Daniela? Sí. Por ahora. For now, she's going to study. She's going to study. Total domination, study. Okay, as you can see, uh, Dragon Star is in problems. He has a lot of idols and, uh, well, he's dying right now. His economy is a disaster. What? Look at the, look at the queue, guys. He has seven villages in the queue. He only need to unqueue all the villages and go up. What is he doing, guys? What is he doing? Dark Age forever, man. What the hell? Seriously, cancel all the villages and go up. Exactly, now he can, he's going up. I can't believe this, really. Anyway, you need to wall a lot more, and now you need to wall also here. He's trying to create chaos here. He's gonna have the RT range, but you need to wall more. Or he will break in. Orange, it's gonna be fine. Because Gray will have a tower, but now Orange will do a tower as well. Yeah, he's fine completely. So, it's okay. <laughs> I can't believe that he's gonna he's gonna be inside that quick. No, no, no. Oh god. Oh man. Well, he's gonna wall. But now he's gonna have one archer. I don't know why he's not doing a tower. This is also a mistake by Balls, honestly. Just wall here. One more, man. Yeah, he's gonna wall more. I don't think Balls is doing a great aggression either. Yeah, he could be easily. Getting inside, but now Drowsa is gonna be just fine. And remember, if you make a tower here, you know what I will do uh, if I was red? I would just make a tower in this area and we'll take these boards, you know? 
you can hunt this easily. Okay. Yeah, I will go there with a couple of villages and that's it. Let's see. On this area, orange. Has to be careful. Need to repair this tower. But are they gonna come with... Ooh. With siege or what? Ooh, the village. Ooh, it's gonna go down. No. Ladies and gentlemen, the lesson is on the way to Castleage. And remember that when you are in Castleage, the tower will get, will get more HP. More HP. Siege workshop here by yellow. Ovenka, I like it. But green is coming with two villages it's slower with two tones. Yellow is already there. So now blue is gonna be in a problem. You understand? Ah, happy weekend. Happy weekend. Mira ti, mi vida. Esta mañana, mi vida. Okay, she's going to sleep, guys. On weekends, they have permission to be... Ooh, look at the tower here. Is do it. They're leaving the barrack. And what blue achieved here, guys? Nothing. Nothing he achieved. Yeah. All right. He's a stone wall in this area. Now he's going to go for the lake. So they're fine. And orange. In 30 seconds, the tower is going to have more HP. Let's see if he's going to repair. Yeah, he will. Teal is with Siege as well. Oh, wow. Well, I'm going to tell you something. This is a very good position for Velese. Because purple with the lake and with Mongols is booming. And with Gilnets. He has a lake too. But it's not going to do any army. That tower now is not defended anymore. Gray is still in the feudal forever. But what he's going to try to do now, Gray is fast imp. So what the Lesses will do is simple. Go aggro. If you do siege and monks, you are completely fine. And Gray is going to be in a big problem. Let's see. This is Velese. He should be strong. He's coming now with what? Velese has a stone. Make another tower. Why he didn't make it? I don't know. He should do a tower. But he didn't. Now he's going to have a mangonel. And he's doing the mangonel. Gray. We'll see now. The siege war shop. So this tower probably shouldn't be up. We will see. In this area there is yellow. With a mangonel. There's two mangonels as well. But imagine guys. Imagine. If yellow had here two knights, you kill everything, guys. They never do that. They go for the siege. They prefer to do the siege. But if you do the knights, you delete all the palisades and then you clean all. Now you have to, to micro with mangonels. Oh, boy. And now this is going to be good for Grey. Really good. Because if you wall, having this... And Byzantines, if he's playing passive here, Velese, this is this can be a problem. This can really be a problem. So this is the position he wants to be. He's not going to go up. He has 48 population, 10 population more than Velese, and then he will go directly into Imperial and Monks, which is gonna be dangerous and deadly. But Purple, <laughs> Purple has an insane boom already. Nick is just focus on his economy. Exactly what he has to do. Uh-oh. That was a good shot, but he didn't kill it. The tower is helping a lot. That was bad, man. That was really bad. So this is really good for Balstein. Let's see. Now. Oh, Mangonel down. And now with these Mangonels also killing the arches. Ay, ay, ay. Green he here losing. Oh, boy. Oh, really, boy. This is four tone centers. Yellow still have 55 alias. Green 62, so he's ahead. His farming is so great. 35 farmers, while yellow, 23. This is very important, guys. Obviously, with Teutons, it's easier. But I insist, you need to recover this. Red is not up to Castleage. Well, Barls is almost in Castleage already with Dravidians. He's gonna boom, I believe, now. Or he's gonna try to do something else. Nah. Full boom now. But guys, triple dog. He's 14 population more. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Let's see what Vietnam is going to do with this situation. He's going to try to go fast in. Maybe. We'll see. Great. You can see Andre. Who is this? Sadikon. Thank you so much for the four months. Hope the guys you enjoy with the casting. And uh, he's doing the university already. But guys, great. He's going to make a forward castle. And is clearly what he's going to do. But I'm not sure if this is going to work against... The oh! 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 He lost the stone! He lost the stone! He lost the stone and he lost the game right now! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, he lost the stone completely! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Orange just got a lag! Well, Gray, I would love to see now a webcam, a camera here because his face might be... Well, his game is dead already now. His strategy is completely gone right now. He lost the stone and that's brutal. That's completely the game for him, not for the team. Well, Purple on the way to Imperial Age. Mongols. Mongols can do whatever now. What I will do if, if I was him right now? Uh, well, I don't know, Siege. Did he bought it the stone? Yeah, but the timing, the momentum, it's gone already. And he's doing now the castle at the back. You know, look at the difference, you know. He doesn't have the resources. He's just gonna go for full Mago Dice, I believe, because having the gods, oh man. Oh man, you need to repair the tower. It's listening with the mangonel. He might even now was losing that castle. No, but there's a mangonel. The castle is gonna be there. Ooh, okay. Green is about to go up to Imperial, but I think purple is gonna make the difference here. Oh wow, another mangonel. He lost everything, man. Oh baby, they lose everything here. And now yellow is gonna have the castle here. Oh, Venka. Red, guys, he's gonna make. Now the fast Imperial here, look at his population, 61, and Bals now is irrelevant in the game. He has three TCs, good farming, yes, but he won't be able to do anything here. He's doing the Guild Nets, so his economy is gonna be great. Well, great. Better, definitely, than, than his opponent. He's gonna make the university, gonna have the castle and go up to Imperial. And remember one thing, really important, God, he can spam. Okay. Gods, maybe he's bad against Teutons. If Teuton is going champions, domination. He's going Teuton Ignite, domination. So, what Orange needs to do here is full wall, wall completely, purple and yellow go all together, and they are dead. Completely dead. How do you stop Mongols and Gods together when Teutons is not free boom? He has a good boom, don't take me wrong. 100 free bullets is very nice, but he needs some army. And when blue has 66 villages and red is on the way to Imperial. On the way to Imperial. Now blue will start to wall, probably. We'll see. And uh, he can just do bomber cannons, traps, whatever. He's doing a castle here, but yellow is up to him. 105 villages and guys, damn, damn, damn. Vilese also is getting closer and closer to go up to Imperial as well. He's gonna make markets here. He should do. Yeah, he should cut all this woodland and make the markets in this area. I don't know what they're going to trade, but... Mongols is coming. 132 bullets. Elite Mago Dice. Chemistry. Cap Rams. Orange. Imperial Age. That's Mr. Vilese. And now, he has 54 bullets, man. So... Eh! He shouldn't do the job here. He's going monks, guys. He's going monks. Purple is coming with rams, but I insist. Here... The Bongos and the Gods. Ooh, and now he's doing two extra TCs. I like it. Red Fletching, doing Rattan Archers. And yeah, Bals is up with 82 Villiers. 14 population more than Red, but the timing is not great. And Dravidians. Well, what is gonna do with Dravidians here? Archers. Vietnam Archers are better. I don't know. Dravidians are kinda crap, but it's still. Trebuchets are coming. Heresy already 
for Nick. Heresy for Nick. So, this player is amazing, you know? It's really amazing. Obviously, it's expensive upgrade. 1,000 gold. But you have to be careful. Yellow, Perfusion, and then Anarchy. If you have that upgrade, but repair the castle. Don't lose it. Oh, man. If you lose the castle, he's not going to be able to make... No, no, he, he will do Anarchy before he's losing the castle, so he's fine. But he's going to repair anyway. Yeah, where's the barracks? Not many bar... Ooh, he's here. He can spam, man. The gods use spam so fast. They spam brutality fast. You can spam in a second. It's crazy. It's crazy. Anyway, doing all the upgrades. More Mago dice coming here. And red? Why he's not doing traps here? Try to... I don't know. Because then, why you're up to Imperial? That fast. He got now less population than blue, for sure. And here we are with Elephant Arches, Onagers, and Huskeld. Is this elite? No. But now it will. Elite Huskeld already. So the elite Huskeld will eat absolutely this army. Yeah, but green has a lot of army now. And yellow, nothing. You need to spam really fast. Gonna be difficult. Ovenka resources at the limit. Are they gonna be able to kill here or not? Orange still not have the most army. So... They need just to get, the, the longer the game goes, more domination. Now he's going to try to convert the Magodes, but they are not getting anything. You know, he has Orange, has uh, Monks, uh, let's say, go halves, man. Why the players always go for the same with some specific civilizations? I don't know. The Magodes dominate here? Absolutely. They have to kill those Keshik 100%. Yeah, but he converted now some units. Great. And in this spot, another castle. And here, they are gonna cut, man. And yellow doing the caravan, but you need the Huskels to go. He's spamming more Huskels. And if he's doing infantry, Teutons might dominate. Nick has a crazy score, but this area is dangerous. It is very dangerous. Uh, soon, what they will have to do? They will have to delete the wall soon. Let's see what Nick is going to do. He has a lot of Magodites. A lot of Magodites. Six rounds. Well, if he's spamming rams here, he's going to kill everything. Gray has monks that are now useless. And I insist. Orange is going for... What? Ladies? Okay. Oh, man. Standard infantry, guys. But, obviously, the Rattan Archers will help. They will need some resources. The micro is crucial now for both players because yellow might lose everything. Yeah, as you can see. Oh, my God. But he lost the traps. I mean, if they hold with the trap, which is they are fine. As you can see. Okay. They're still holding. And in this position, well, we still need to see Vilese with the uh, with the with the great army. Those are latest plus five, no bloodlines. And honestly, if you delete all the walls, you go rams and you make Elite Magonites and Latis, this army won't stop this. I mean Kesik and Monks, it won't stop it. Um Lithuania's got heresy too, right? I think they do. So if he has heresy, or if he did heresy, then Grey become useless. 24 monks. Well, they will die. They will eventually die. Castle is gonna be down. He has Onegas with Tatars. That is down immediately. Fortified walls. Husbandry doing all the upgrades. Yellow coming with the army. He's gonna try to cut more. And know the castle. Nick selling a stone. They need more gold. Yeah, they are trading now. More castles. All right. And... This castle is gonna go down. He has to go. This is no match. All right. And with the rams, he does have too many. That he, that he has the drill. Ooh. We'll see. They are cutting more. And here, two more castles. It's still Dravidians. He has five elephant archers. And I wonder what he's going to do. Elephant archers? Well, if he's doing millions of archers, they might work. But ay ay ay. Let's see. He's coming with the rams now. Coming with a lot of Magodites, he's gonna be able to micro properly here. Yes, he will. This is now the drill. Siege Engineer is gonna make the Rams. The Mongols is going to dominate. It has to dominate. The Rams are coming. The Trebs are coming as well. Well, the Rams, yeah, they're here now. And with Latis, domination. Grace trying to, to reboom, but Tatars is going to die here. He's converting some. 
Go back a little bit. The ladies are attacking. I think he should delete the walls. He's not deleted, but all the KC will die in this area. They're going to be fine. The gods got a lot of farming. Orange elite ladies finally. And ladies and gentlemen, Pulse team is in a big problem. In a really big problem because Blue has no army. He has a lot of elite, but no army. And here... Kray has a fast imp, he did, and now he's gonna lose all the monks. He's gonna lose the castle, and how do you stop now the Mongols? Mongols in the house. With flaming camels, venga, hombre, a tu casa. Flaming camels. Tírate del, de, 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 del avión. My goodness. Sid Randall going with the mango dice. Flaming camels. My goodness. He's gonna go and take the castle now. Trebuchet coming. And in this area, champions. This is elite Rattan archers. They need to hold. This position gonna be complicated, but not impossible. Elite Rath and Arches are amazing, and God's just spamming sick. In this one, uh oh, what is he doing with the Magon dice? He just need to kill the castles. Don't lose the traps, of course. Don't lose the traps. The Magon dice are going in. He doesn't need to hurry. He need to kill the castles, and then with the rams, kill everything. Yeah, this is game, guys. If they are taking this, this is gonna be game or not. Okay, balls, more and more elephants. Elite elephant arches. Green has great infantry that can dominate the gods, but rattan arches dominate that infantry. So the combination is okay. It's more than okay. Yes, and gods can spam forever. Look at this. Honestly, I think the civilizations match ups. Wow, Vilesia team has outplayed big time balls with the choices. I don't know what you think. It is what I feel, really. Absolutely. Obviously, ooh, the Mongols, the, 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 the Magon dies. Aye, aye, aye. Well, Grace completely dead. Right now, he failed also with the forward castle. And losing three minutes with this kind of strategy is massive. It's really massive, okay? Now, they are coming here. But Bomber Cannons, you need to kill the Siege Owners only. The Rattan Arches are sick. Uh, let's be honest. Um, we were talking that Dragon Star wasn't playing good. He's playing very good the last games, okay? Dragon's is playing really well this this one. And he's holding really well. He has a lot of army here too. And playing solid. Very solid. Here now. With the lead Magodice. And now those elite ladies. Six rams are going or not? Okay. Paper money. Well, good upgrade for the economy. This is a problem. This can be a problem. So let's see if they are going to really push. Because if they don't push fast... He is still here in a complicated position. You know, uh-oh. He lost the castle here. So many bomber cannons. What the hell? Yeah. So many. But here, they need to stop this. He's getting dangerous into the trade. And the Mongols is not here. See, Tornes moving in it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is not over till it's over. They are going here much slower than I thought that they were going to go. But with the Rams, need more Rams. He got two Rams only. 40 Mago dice. And in this area now, they are starting to lose a lot. The Onegers, no, the Bomber Cannons are being huge here. They are killing now the, the Siege. Oh boy, great shot. But the Gods is spamming. It's spamming forever. Look at the Rattan Arches. Here now with the Bomber Cannons trying to kill all the Siege. Bals not controlling the units. No, no, no. Losing all the, all the Siege. Whoa, they are trying to kill the trade, but they can't. And the gods doing an amazing job here with the spamming. Here in this spot, they keep pushing. Is Green also trying to defend? Gray is out of the game. He has nothing here. Then, Latis, Trebuchet, Kassars, Monks, going with the uh, with the Magodites. You need to kill those Keshik. The castles need to die. And if they take the kill, ooh, the Monks converted the Onegas as well. Beautiful. Beautiful play here by Belese, but he need more army in this area. They are in troubles. They are in troubles. Blue and green keep trying to push because they want to stay in the tournament. The score is almost the same. And now they don't have a good spot to trade. But guys, Dragonstar is playing amazing with this army. Controlling this like God right now. He got 11 Bombard Cannons. So many Rattan Archers. Obviously, his population is at the limit, but Yellow also losing a lot. They need to cut. The trade is here now. Okay. Okay. But they are still not killing here. What the hell? Byzantines is defending like a god here. Trying to spam how are these skirmishers. I don't know. The, tra the traps are trying to kill this castle, but I miss 
Siege from Purple. I miss Siege from Purple, not an old Siege. And ladies and gentlemen, if they don't stop this, oh boy. Oh, really, boy. This can be a problem. The Gauss is kind of cut off from his, oh, his teammate. And the Gauss is not going to be spamming forever. Uh, well, he will, because they are slinging him, probably, too. And look at these Bomber Cannons. You need to shoot Imperial Skirmishes. Ooh, okay. A lot of Rattan Arches, but Elephant Arches, so much HP. Here, the Gauss still spamming, as you can see. But the Siege Owners, ooh, they're killing all. Going with a Q-Skull. Oh, my goodness. Well, he's killing Green, even. And Yellow is spamming constantly. Constantly. In this area, they still hold him crazy that they cannot pu 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 push more this is a lot of magma that trebuch it and orange it's a spammy latest but his population is not 200 he should do some trash units still red playing amazing if he doesn't look great wall here by the way if he doesn't lose the bomber cannons is huge you need to take this castle let's see if he's gonna be able to do it rattan arches elite skirmishes 21 idols okay why he has the Imperial Skimmerses here? I don't know. Gather point, not the, not the greatest. And Yellow is holding the position lonely. Purple, unable to kill with the Mongols. Incredible, but true. They are unable to kill with the Mongols. Now the Onagers will try to kill the Skirmishes, but they can't kill with the Mongols, which is a big surprise here. Oh boy. And now... Balstein is taking the score lead. Unbelievable game. What the hell? I can't believe that they are not winning this game. Yeah. If they don't win this game, then... Oh, decider, man. Decider might be sick. And probably with better civilization for battles. Oh, man. The gods are still here spamming. This is the good thing. You can spam forever, but now... You need to kill this, need to take this castle. Still, Red has crazy amount of army right now. This castle is going to be down probably. A lot of Imperialist cameras, you need to go. Now, Yellow need to send everything. Yeah, Green has dropped a lot of army, and in this spot, they is still unable to kill. The Magma dies, not an old, 55, but not killing. And this castle is going down. Ooh, but now he's spamming, like, let's go, no, the owner, the owner, the owner. Nah, the gods is spamming. He's still doing a great job. He's gonna clean now everything. They're gonna clean now because Green can't keep going the production. He can't keep going the production. Look at this battle. Look at this battle. And now, Dragon Star MVP now. With how he's controlling the army, the amount of army he has is insane. 83 army. Imperial Skimmers, Rattan Arches, a lot of Bomber Cannons gonna push it back, everything. Oh, Dragon Star, stop losing now the Bomber Cannons, okay? I say MVP and he's going to suicide everything. Here, in this spot, unbelievable. The Mongols pushing back by Skirmishers. Where is the Sea Chonagers? Nowhere. And now, Vietnam and Gods are pushing here because Red has Amazing amount of Bomber Cannons. Crazy amount of Bomber Cannons. Awesome play here by Red and Yellow. Holy moly, really? Yes, they push absolutely everything. Now, you're gonna take the Trebuchets, and the pushback is real. They're gonna take absolutely everything. The amount of farming from Red is insane. Orange also has few ladies, and I insist, please, see Tornagers. You know the problem, Nick? No goal. And Balls is now on the right side as well. Holy and Molly. But this castle down to Dragonstar has 7,000 wood of Enka Zero. Dragonstar has 3,000 food of Enka Zero. Can you sell, send resources to the gods? Please send everything. Everything. My goodness. Okay, Mago Dice. More Mago Dice coming. All right. They get resources in the middle of the map. And here. Bals got all the elephant arches. Remember that these elephant arches are not even the best. They don't have the plus six armor, but still, it's okay. And not even bloodlines, but they're still so tanky. So tanky. I mean, in this situation, Dragonstar, 73 villages on wood. Oh, Dragonstar. I said that he was playing great. Okay. Well, Bals is going to help Dragonstar to delete villages, you know? He's doing a favor. No, 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 no. He's, he's, he's plan. He's plan. He's going to lose Villains now, and now he's going to do more army, you know? It's okay. It's all part of the plan. 
Unbelievable, man. Qué plan ni qué mierda. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see the bomber cannon. He's gonna take the trap or not? He doesn't see it. He's gonna lose the castles. Just look. Yeah. He's playing great now. Okay. It's crazy, guys. It's really crazy. It's really crazy. It's crazy that he's gonna lose everything and he's not paying attention. Oh. Castle down. Bomber Cannon is gonna take it. He's losing a lot of population. 60 bullets, 20. How many bullets? How many trade cards he got Dragon Star, guys? Check, please. Tell me how many how many trade cards he got Dragon Star. Right now. Three trade cards, but they are stop it. No no no, it's zero. They are not working. Just look at the goal. It's zero. This trade. Look, one. Wait, who is the other? I'm sure that they are idle. Two? And I can find the third. You know? It's not working. It's zero trade card. It's zero. One trade card working. Okay. One trade card working now. Unbelievable. So, make trade or you die. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's crazy. It's really crazy that here, with Mongols and Lithuanians, they are unable to kill Tatars and Byzantines. And this is happening because there is no siege from the Mongols. No siege from the Mongols and no siege onagers. Yeah, and it's crazy, but they need the siege onagers. They have trade, 44 trade cut, okay. Nick is still with zero gold. Yeah, they have no gold. Velese, 57 trade card. And Velese also, two little army as well with 5,000 wood. Okay, more ladies, and now Tatar, he has all these skirmishes. Grey has zero trade card as well. They are trying to make buildings here. Not gonna not gonna work. Orange is doing now Botkin. And now I think they are not playing great. I know it's a lot of things to check. The pressure, but this is definitely a weird gameplay. I know that they don't have now the resources to make the sea chorners, but sea chorners here just kill all the units. And they have no siege. And in this area, well, you cannot stop now this infantry. Yeah, the gods uh, don't have the goal to keep spamming constantly. And now red, uh, red has now all these skirmishes. So, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, a game that, in my opinion, the lesser team should have won. They are kind of throwing. I don't know if you think this is a throw. I think it is. Honestly. I think it is. Now, infantry. More infantry, even. What the hell? Well, the infantry for Dravidians is, is really strong. And I decided it's what we want, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I wanted to go to sleep, but okay. I decided it's fine. <laughs> Andorin can lose. Well, you are very objective, Zodet. So we trust in your opinions because you are not BS in this game. Right, Odet? We love you. Huh? Anyway, let's see here. He's gonna take everything? Yes, he will. And here? Oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Onegers, Magundais. Is Kilbar in armor now? Very interesting. To do what? Light cap? Elephants? With these resources? You got 1000 stone. It's skirmishes, guys. And here he's trying to mass army. But the game is over, guys. Believe it or not. Incredible. And well, you can see how... The best two players supposed to be Vilesi and Nick. They were unable to kill Andorin and Ondrek that are, in theory, the lowest players on the other team. Did you think about that, guys? Did you think about that? And with Mongols and Lithuanians, it's absolutely crazy. While Bals with Dravidians and Lucaros with Teutons, they are now dominating 
They were almost bye bye. Would still. Jijin! Oh my goodness! Oh man! Bounce would be in the finals. I mean, after this comeback, after this comeback, ouch! How Bounce cannot be now in the finals? Bounce team, right? That's incredible. That's really incredible. How the Mongols and Lithuanians were unable, unable to kill Tatars and Byzantines. There was people telling Tatars Let's is bad. Going strong towards Chaotic D5. Well, Bomos, total brutal domination. You, yeah, I say that rounds I was playing like crazy MVP, blah, blah, blah. When I say that comment, he started to sink like the Titanic. Statistics, military. Uh, green with Teutons, 900 unit kills. 900 unit kills. Hopefully you have enjoyed with the casting. Oh, guys, I feel bad for Ovenka. Ovenka KD, 200 kills, 1,000 unit lost. 200 kills, 1,000 unit lost. Nick, he killed a lot with the Mongols. Yes, he did. But he needed to kill his town, not the units. He was just on the hill, camping and killing. But they didn't dominate. And Velese, 42 largest army, not the best either. Economy? Andorin, 16,000 gold from the trade. He did 49 army, but he got economy. You know? He got Yuseko trying to hold there. And Ondrech, that was a slink but like crazy, he did a lot of army in spam. Dragon Star, the most army in the game, but the army composition wasn't an oath for Velese team to win, which is crazy. And now, game number five, let's go. All right, guys, this is a very interesting matchup. Is the decider and uh, the damn semi-final with Malians. This is a terrible map for Barls. Because look how is the gap. You need to wall here for a decider. Then he's covered by the Kells. Look at rocks. All right. Yellow is super far from red. So the scout is going to be farther. And here with the walls. Oh boy. Re, I guess. The stupid lakes. We keep going, guys. We keep going. This is the decider. It has been a restart, and now hopefully it's not gonna be any restart. And we keep going. Oh, for a decided game, how many lakes in the game? Please, guys, tell me how many lakes in the game for a decided game to be in the grand final? Can you tell me? Come on, spam me the channel. Spam him. Spam, 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 spam. You know, zero. Zero legs, zero. Completely, completely nice. I just love it. Red, Dragon Star, Aztecs against Gray. It's gonna come and wall with two villains. Malai, Malai, gonna be very happy to have no legs. Super happy. Now, the Aztecs, without doing the loom, is gonna be in a very nice position. But don't go yet. Wait, because now I wouldn't be surprised that Ondrik is gonna delete and try to kill that villain here. Definitely not. He's a decider. Don't want to take any risk anymore. Well, this is obviously worse for Malai. Because Malai rely rely in lakes. For sure. Here, big battle. Bals and Velese. So the team captains are fighting and Velese is starting to die. Or maybe not. Velier down. But he's going to take the scout now. Well, time to kill Bals' scout. So be important. Pulse. Now Pulse will is don't regenerate. And here the micro. Not being the best, man. Not being the best. Purple. Not gonna send a building. Need to send another. Pulse seems to be much stronger in these kind of situations. As you can see. He's very close to his base. And now Blue gonna send more villains. Yes. He has the Malians. Okay. And let me check this. Two villiers need to send another. He's taking the deer now. What the hell? And they barely have a scout. Uh, villiers on a scout. And this is disaster. This is disaster for Velese. Velese, I think Velese should play pocket. I don't think, guys, is Velese doing a big, a big difference as a flank? I think he just 
die. Honestly. Yeah, they're dead already. He is dead already. Check his village number and Bal's village numbers. 21 seconds LTC, Bal's 2 seconds. And he lost a village. So, two villages behind. Pretty easy. Well, in this area, Gray is seriously getting this map control. It, for real? For real, he's getting this map control, uh, Andre? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, just look how far it is. Red, how close it is. And then he's walling all this area. Disaster. At least they have the same population. One orange now. Is keep going. And Vilesa is now only three villages behind. He lost two villages and 40 seconds idle. Bal's now 25 and. <laughs> okay. This was finally good. But the damage is done. For sure done. Vilesa. Has no wood. He's doing the lumber camp. He's gonna send now village to wall. This area. But this is the thing. All this and it's still fully open map. Oh boy. He's gonna wall here. Or we'll try to wall this area. He's sending two villages to this area. Oh god. Oh man. At least it's three villages. Okay. But green is super close. I mean, walling here, it's it's too greedy, man. Hola, hello, how you doing? Are you good? Yeah, you're good, man. He's gonna send more villages, three more. Villages is dead, guys. It's, I feel bad because he said they decider, but, well, he's not dead, but you know what I mean. Villages, villages is fuck. It's it really fuck, honestly. Yeah. Well, red is walling here. Seriously? Nice walls. And now, five villages. And he can, because he got a big advantage. And now, since he's being greedy, blue will wall here. A forward now. Okay. He's gonna send three villages more. You don't want to get a wall here by balls is he really okay he's sending three bullets more that's nice but it wasn't easier guys just to wall here and here like two bullets here to wall send the other one here and then you have a nice walls not super tricky and since you are not in a good position the problem is that Velese feel that he's in a bad position so he won't at least to get map control which is not happening right now and blue is sending three bullets more and then orange is will fall more and more behind, I believe. All right, yellow with Khmer. Okay, I was going to say something, but this Khmer, guys, no problem. It's gonna take another, and now he's dropping the food for the deers. I like it. You don't need to make a meal. This is the typical. And now, push more deers, right? When you get all the food, yeah, that's pretty sick. As you can see, Obenka has two bullets on goal. But he has no, no wood. And let's focus again with the village fight. And they are still dancing with the village. That's nice. Have you noticed, guys, how this civilization has been seriously nerfed? Because this matchup, being with poles before the patch, Velesia would be really ahead. Oh, he killed a villager now, finally. Okay. But now they don't recover the HP. So poles is definitely not in the best position. Bals, Barak, here with the Villier, gonna wall in front. And Velese, guys, it's losing the game and probably the serious guys. He's trying to wall here. Bals is trying to avoid it. He's on the way to Feudal Age. He's gonna have the Barak. Is he mining some gold with one Villier? He will do militias. It's gonna be a disaster. He will never go up. This is Dark Age. He's gonna lose a villager more. Another villager down. Oh my god, Vilese. He's trying to wall. He's gonna lose another one. He's gonna lose how many? He's gonna lose Vilese. My goodness. This is Melissa's now. Careful with the wolf. The wolf is helping Vilese. And he see now 
the Barak. This Malicious. Yeah, man, he's crazy. Villain down. Okay. But they're gonna lose another because of the militia. He won it, but. But. And. And. He blocked it. And another one. Yeah. Green is coming with a scout. He's sending more. 25 bullets for. For Bals. Obviously, he doesn't have too many, but he's gonna do more militia. This is wall. They need to wall. And. Gray with the tower. And look at the walls here. He's forced to do it. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Trying to recover the map. Malai. Okay. But he's up now. Malai will be behind. And here, look at the walls he did. And another one. And another one. Vilesi. 25 Vilesi. And it's still in Dark Age. This is still open. He's going to try to wall now. He's doing stone walls. And this is what you call... Make another tower. It's not doing. This is what you call a total domination by Bows. But don't you think, guys, that Vilese killed himself in these games? Like a lot. Seriously. It's crazy, guys. I have said many times that Vilese is a meta player. And you can see here how he is a meta player. You know? He has a lot of problems in this kind of situation. And it happened also when he plays Arabia. If the game is a normal gameplay, standard... Uh-oh, Barak? Okay. Green is coming with Siege. Velesa is up now to Feudal Age, while the Kells is gonna eat Tone Centers. Oof. Remember, guys, that purple is Kuman's. He's Feudal Age. Still not up. He doesn't have yet the resources to go up. I think the Blasphemy is a mistake. He needs a market to balance the economy to go up. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Vilesa is in problems. He's in real problems. Oh my god. This is super intense. But remember one thing that is very important too. If they don't do the big damage now to Vilesa, and thank you so much for that two moons, Kumans will have a big boom here to clean. A big boom, remember. Now, more walls. And it's crazy, but I don't know if you feel that Bal's team in this decider is being more aggressive than in the whole series. All right? They are. And they have good saves. So let's see. Siege Workshop. The problem is that now red, the problem for, green, for gray is that now red should really kill. If he's going with Siege and Monks, Aztecs, he should dominate here big time. Deal four tone centers. The Vikings. Crazy and sick economy for sure. But guys, Green is already here. And what is Velesse going to do now with Poles? Well, very easy. He's going to die. He's doing a tower here. I like it. Purple is on the way to Castle. It's double stable. They're going to clean this very easy. Yeah, they will clean. But they are getting all the map control. And this is not a real problem. Oh, that's a mistake. And Velesse is not losing anything. This is fine. This is really fine. He walled with houses. And at the end, it's not disaster for the lesson, but guys, Barl's doing a great job. He's on the way to Castle in a moment. When he has the building. He's missing the building. Siege was shot by purple. Uh mm -mm -mm. Okay. He's doing. Yeah, 49 Valise, Kuman's Boom, and Kuman's Boom here become much more powerful. Why? Because in general. Nice micro. And he is going to lose the mangonel. But he killed his own mangonel. I mean, in general, with Kumans, since there's a lot of lakes, Kumans become less powerful. I mean, or it can be compensated. But here, Kumans is much stronger. Because he's already ahead, as you can see. You know? 50 Belize, he's doing the third tone center, and now he's doing knights. Do you know what I will have done? Step Lancers. Better than nice here. Yeah, he's gonna do the Magonal now. But guys, Vilese is not even close to go up. Look at the forward he's doing here. He can make farms? Yeah, he can. But it's not the best forward for sure. You know? Anyway. It's wall. And he's gonna make a Magonal. Trying to clean this one. You have to clean. Problem is that Balz is mining a lot of stone and a castle. And Gebetos is... 
I'm smelling. Yes. Gray is now in castleage. He's fine. He walled a lot. Do you think he walled, guys? Okay. I will just show you a little bit better. Oh, okay. It's not an oath. Do you think he walled it? Gray? I think... I think he did wall. Yeah. He's safe. Okay. Everything is fine here. Don't take the roll. It's just... Convert first and then the relic. Okay. He's not going? Not really. Bals, castle it. And now he's dropping a castle here too. But be careful. Magnol is coming. So might kill some Belize. This is this is greedy, man. And Belize should delete the palisades. He didn't. Now the castle is at the back. Yeah, playing safe. He's gonna stone walls just to avoid the raiding, mark it. And guys, I think this is a mistake from Bals. Why? Because now this is still open. And Bals, 38 villages, now he could be doing three extra town centers. And it's not the case. Why you want that castle? He's walling around. And Brutal still have a good boom. So this is a mistake, I'm telling you. Yeah, imagine if he was having cab ramps here. You could break this so easily. And now you have zero protection. I will have a stone wall, honestly. Yeah, and that's it. And maybe just make the castle... Well, I don't know. Because he, he could go then to the middle. Doesn't matter. He's doing some Kibetos. And... Blast mid for... For Velese, and he's up. He's on the way to castle. Look at the farming. Ha! <laughs> Small areas, but Velese doing a good job. And now, Gebetos, purple, purple man. Yeah, you have to micro. But he has a tower, he's fine. He need to make a gate. Need to make a gate. Towers, man. No, no, no. The Gebetos still dying, remember? And he won it completely. Oh. Okay, let's see the micro now. Green is still. 85 bullets, but guys, Kuman's on the way to Imperial Age. With 81 bullets. I like that, but the idea would be to have a castle here. Without a castle, it's definitely not the way to go. And now this is Kenda Trap. Uh-oh. Yellow castle on top of that field. Ovenka Khmer. Oh, wow. Look at his boom. His boom is insane with the damn Khmer. He's gonna lose the Mangoros now, and Purple. Ah, oh, he's not killing anything, man. Well, not the best micro. Didn't kill anything. And now, what is he going to do? He's an Imp, but what is Kuman's doing here? Yeah, he has a Valir here. Where's the stables? Or where's something? Yeah, I mean, he's going to Imperial, but into what? He's gonna be in castle, he's in a moment, 47 villages doing now the two extra town centers. Honest is going to move. And Grace is starting to do his job. Walling everything. But guys, Red has right now. I don't know why, but 20 villages less. You know? Khmer is going to Imperial. But where? Where he's going to go, Khmer here? Because the Vikings is going up to imperial and honestly he's not gonna do army guys he's going to a sling guys the vikings is a slinging guys the vikings is being picked to a sling it's not gonna do army until he's gonna sling oh he's here he's here shut up man he's not gonna sling i didn't see the castle okay it's not a slinging i was like where is him no 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 he's doing berserkers and trebuchet. I mean, it could be a possibility to sling, to be honest. To give a sling to blue and to gray, and they are still winning. Yeah, absolutely. But it's on this area. Nick is in Imperial Age, but Orange has a castle here. That's a very nice one. Yeah, he's well defended. And uh, what is Nick doing? He's doing Lancers. He has the castle at home. He's gonna do a step lances probably. Okay. And yellow is doing Valista elephants. But the Celts is about to come. They need to cut. And they need to cut fast. But where they're going to cut? 
That's the question, right? I'm not so sure. Pikins is gonna have Berserkers, I believe. He does have yet the army. He's doing the trebuchet. Okay. But. Nick. Where's the elite step lancers? No abris yet, but he's doing all the abris. Double crumble, chamber and armor. And the, the, the late the games goes, the Kelsu destroy here, guys. And these, these uh, ballista elephants are worse than before. So, I don't know. I think it's so difficult. Obviously, the lances need to come. But where's the lances? Still not coming, right? Nope. It's not coming. You can see the lesser population uh, a spot doing another two season. But now his 48 village is crazy, guys. It's crazy that the captain has been so behind in this one. This is a, a little step lancer now. It's still no plus four. So the lances are coming. But... Okay. He's... He's... He's the lesser walls, guys. Look. He's the lesser walls, man. Oh, come on. They leave the walls, man. Oh, my God. Disaster. Disaster last game for the lesser team. They are losing everything. They are dead. They are, they have nothing here now. 13 army, the whole team, 47. And this decided game is being a total domination by Bal's team. Belese just suicide himself in the start of the game. And now with so many castles, those Ballista elephants are going to melt. Gray is up with 113 villages, more than red. That has 94 all. He's gonna send what? Monks, halves, what? This is elite berserkers. Not fully upgraded, but plus four, and now doing all the upgrades. Chief times and everything. He's coming with the Ballista. All right, but still not a lot. A lot. And Kumans is here with the elite step lancers, which against Kels, I think they are crap. I don't know what you think, guys. Like, Kels can kill here everything. Here he's coming with those Berserkers, and he's absolutely crazy how these series are, well have changed completely. He should kill the owners with the castle. He's not microing. The let's say kill the owners, man. You got the castle and he's not microing. You can see how he's completely uh, shocked, let's say, because he's not using the castle even. He has the elite ball ballista elephants. And what is Red going to do here? Well, he's doing Jowers. He's doing the monks as well. And uh, Malai doing economy. But... As you can see, guys, it's crazy how this series has been. Very nice series, great. But we are not having lag with, with the deciders. We are not. The deciders could be more spectacular, but this one, it was feeling from the start that the last kind of suicide. And now I know that they are trying, and I don't want to remove you the hype, but I don't know what they can do against this army with this army as well. Step Lancers not fully abraded. And this is Elite Berserkers, Sun Siege Owners, Grace doing Elite Battle Elephants, Halvard Diaz Berserkers, they, they might kill everything. Yellow here with the Ballista Elephants, but... Kebetos, he's taking those. Oh, oh man. The Owners, this is not Siege Owners, but now, let's see. Okay, Berserkers and Halvard Diaz. So many lances, yes. What is Red doing? He's coming here with a castle. But Grey now will have elite battle elephants. And I don't know where he's sending. Is the lances an oath? Well, he's trying to kill the siege. Okay. That's nice. The lances are being stronger than I thought. Yeah, but the trade will never be good for them. Definitely not. So difficult. Look how the army is just going down. He's killing quite, but he's coming again with more. And then this is Gebetos. Now Grey... Doing even heresy, guys. Heresy for the battle elephants. He's gonna cut here. If you cut here, it's gonna be good for, for them because they can attack purple from more areas. And now look at purple. Okay, holding the position. The team still fighting, man. Fighting like warriors. This is what we want. Like it. But this army looks not so great. And red? Yeah, we're warriors, but elite Gavetos. Is this elite Gavetos? Not yet. But he will at some point. The Gavetos are stronger now with this patch. More HP. And uh, do they change something else? 
I don't remember, to be honest. But more chaos in the app, a lot of map control. And Gray is doing what? Elephant. He's so slow, man. Well, he has 143 bullets, and he walled all the map, so he's not dying, and this is his job. Not die. While in this side, look. Guys, the Ballista Elephants against the Siege Owners are dying, guys. Are dying a lot. The Lance is still holding here. He's coming with the traps. Garland Wars and Elite Jower Warriors. All right. That's good. He's going to make the caster with one Valir. No. Yep. He's not going to make it. But blue. But sorry, red. Almost no army either. That's crazy. So Gray will come now. He didn't wall at all. And will come now with millions of elephants and will destroy red. My goodness. I don't want to check. It's going to be destruction. Green. Heresy as well. So imagine... They can't even convert anything. The monks are coming and they are useless. Orange Velese, it's on the way to Imperial Age with 84 villages. It's true that Vals is still with little army. Not so many, but for how long Purple can hold here? Finally, Onegar upgrade. Okay. Remember that Kuman's got Siege Owners. And I have the feeling that in this kind of situation, Siege Owners and Halves is better than, than, than Lancers. I don't know what you think. Imagine if he was doing Seachoners and Hams. Just look, man. I know that these Seachoners are better. They have one range more. Yeah, but this army is doing nothing. They are just dying completely. Now he's coming here with the elephants, trying to be all together. He has so many Ballista elephants. Yes, but the Kumans here is just melting, losing everything. And now the Dragon Star is Dragon Dead. And. I was right. I was telling that Bals was the favorite to be in the finals. Some people was telling, Mem, you are failing with the predictions. Seems like at the end, we didn't fail. And in the last second, when nobody probably expected, not even myself, not gonna lie, after the previous game, having the Mongols and the Gods as a pocket. But when I saw the civilizations here, and mostly when I saw the lesser performance in the start of the game, my goodness, he killed himself. He is still not in Imperial. He has zero army. And ladies and gentlemen, Nick now with the Kumans is dead. The civilization left for this decided game was kinda trash. Not the best. And well, ay ay ay, ay ay ay, let's go. You can see how Bal's team is gonna face tomorrow. Bala's team, guys. It's impossible. They are dead. 80 army, 200 military. They were very close to do it, but they couldn't. He's in Imperial, and now you can call the GG in peace. You reach Imp, and you call the GG. Imp into GG. Stay tuned. Right? Yeah. Gray has so many elephants. GG called Barl's team with the domination in the last two games. With the domination. The last game was a domination. In this one, we have to say that Vilese got destroyed by Barl's. As simple as that. He lost very, very, very fast, really, really early. And, uh, well, you can see, guys. You can see the statistics. Congratulations to Bal's team. They definitely deserve it. They played in the important moments much better in the important moments. The military here doesn't matter too much. Velesse did the incredible amount of two military in the decider. He was defeated, man. He was destroyed. It was a pity this last game because it was over from the start. Blessed gamble and lost. He just played bad in this Belair fight. And honestly, don't think that Vilesse did a big difference as a flank. They should have tried something else because don't think Vilesse play good as a flank. The problem is, Nick is not good flank as well. And Ovenka is much better as a pocket. That's the problem. They pro probably the others didn't want to play as flanks. And guys, this has been the decider, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you watch this on YouTube, thumb up, subscribe, leave a commentary. Help a lot, guys.